tuning in. Hope you're doing well. Hope you're having a good night. We're back tonight to play... Well, uh, to start a new game. Not a new game. Uh, a new game for the stream, I guess. I've not streamed this game before. I have played it a while back. Um, and I've had it for quite a long time. Um, but yeah, we're going to play Darksiders, the War Mastered Edition. Um, is my camera a bit blurry? No, it seems fine. Uh, yeah, Darksiders, War Mastered Edition. So we're going to have a wee... Well, it's a, it's a relatively long game. I mean, I think the suggested time to finish it is about 20 hours or so. Um, so it's at least four or five streams, you know? Um, so yeah, we're going to play that. We're going to play Darksiders. I'm not 100% sure if it's a great game to stream, because it depends how heavily focused I need to be on what's going on in the game. Um, if you have to be too focused on what's going on in the game, sometimes it's maybe not worth uh, streaming as such. Um, but we're going to try, we're going to see how we get on. Um, and we might change the game if it's not great for it, but I think it'll be okay. Um, but yeah, so I hope you're having a good night, uh, and I hope that we'll have some good fun playing the game. Uh, I've not really got much else I need to say right now, to be quite honest. Um, apart from, well, let's dive in and, and see what it's all about. Well, we know what it's all about, but let's see how we get on with it. Shall we? Shall we? Shall we? Let's dive in. I need to check as well, because I've got a horrible feeling that the volume's probably far too high. Hmm. Okay, it's not as bad as I thought it would be, actually, volume-wise. But this is what we're playing. So let's get a new game on the go. Um, I, I think I had like a brief play of it on. Um, I'm going to play it on that just because I don't want to. I don't want to feel like it's too much of a pain in the arse. <laughs> if that's if that makes sense, I'm not going to play it on the on a higher difficulty because I can't really be bothered. Since the dawn of time, I would rather just the play the game. And hell have waged an endless war. They have apparently. Drawn to the so they say. Oh yeah, so hopefully it'll do it'll go okay. We'll see how it goes. I hope I'll be able to make my way through it smoothly. <laughs> Some games I'll play on normal. I've tried playing this game on on normal before and I've always found it frustrating. And I want to get through the game. You know? Humans emerged. Creatures would someday be integral to the balance. Thus, a third kingdom was named. I finally finalized my character on the, uh, like what my character's gonna look like and things on the uh, GTA server thing, so. And I've kind of got an idea in my head where it's all gonna go, so hopefully that'll all work out. Uh, the ultimate fate of the three kingdoms. So here we go. THQ Nordic. And of course, Vigil Games. It's Darksiders. I always thought this was quite an interesting kind of intro because obviously it shows everything starting off from the perspective of humans and the news. You know. Before what happens, I kind of... Is it a cataclysmic event? The Earth being hit with meteors. They just watched that coming down on a TV screen and didn't try and move away. That, is that is that kind of like people, do you think? Would they be like, oh look, that thing's crashing down, that place looks familiar. Oh no. Would people, would people be like that? I feel like some people would be like that, you know. That they would like, you know, totally ignore the obvious disaster that's about to happen. And here we go. It's a big monster. And just threw that... Threw that creature like they were nothing. 
and now it's going to smash all the people. No, no, it's a disaster. I, to be fair, I don't think anyone saw this coming, let's be honest. I feel like I do need to turn the game down just a touch. Sorry, the game is frozen on the screen there because I had to go out of it for a second, but it's there. It's that overused scream from a variety of games. Oh, I need to turn off. Hang on. There is something else I need to do. I'm sorry about this, but I do need to turn off the filter that I use for Dead by Daylight because it makes this game look like crap. There we go. It'll be okay now. It'll be alright now. Assuming the game doesn't, like, freeze. Yeah, that looks a lot better. So here we are, we've got to fight this, this big beast. Now uh, we can focus on an enemy with that. Like so. And we can also finish them off quite nicely there. Feels a bit... Yeah, no, it's okay. So yeah, we can do a spectacular finishing move when B appears. To watch out for that big thing up there though. And then the thing flies a mile away so we can't even do it. There we go, now we can. Just squash him. There we go, who's next? Is he gonna come now? Is he gonna fight me? That's it, fight me, come on. Can't remember how to get out of the way. LB and RT to activate my chaos form. I turn into a big bot, a big uh, flaming, I don't know, dragon? What is it? He just went through me there, and we got rid of him, in the end. It shows us this early on, and we don't get to use it that often, to be honest. Right, watch out, get out of the way. Silly humans, get out of my way. No doubt I just uh, totally annihilated a lot of them. War is here. And they're not wrong. That's both who I am, and also what is here, to be fair. They're right. Look at this big thing. Like a giant stone golem type thing, I don't know. Judgment? judgment. Don't judge me. That's right, so the angels are kind of attacking me because I'm kind of uh, potentially responsible for what's kind of going on. so they're not very happy. But there you go, so... That thing's gonna clear a bit of a path for us. Oh no! What's happening? We're in trouble! No, so essentially now I've got to... I'm trying to remember if there was like a dodge button. I don't think there is. There's that button to kind of thrust forward, but... Everything's getting killed by this thing. But we just keep going. There's still more meteors coming down. Which are going to cause us a wee bit of a problem. I think we just follow along. Yeah, the game does shine a shudder a bit. Your productivity for the evening just went up. Hello, how are you doing? How are you doing? We'll see how I get on with this. I'm concerned that this is a game that might draw my attention too much. <laughs> there we go. It goes all blurry as well, I don't like that so much. How are you doing? Yeah, that went a bit overboard. Hope you're getting on okay. Look, they're fighting against each other, they're fighting against me, they're fighting against... Everything. Your connection's a bit laggy. All right, okay. No worries. I was wondering if it was maybe... Uh... Oh no, I'm almost dead. I might have some trouble with this. Evening, Lynn. How are you doing? Hopefully this game will be all right. You survived cardio class. Now you're doing your book orders. Lovely stuff. I feel like this game's way too loud, by the way. One second. 
Uh, let's just turn the sounds down just a touch. And turn that down just a little bit. Video. I'm just going to turn the sound down just a touch. But yeah, I hope you're getting on alright, Lynn. Uh, yeah, that'll do. Just turn the game down just a touch, because it's a wee bit loud for my... So we can climb up this demonic growth. Imagine... Imagine having a demonic growth. That's not what you want. You don't want a demonic growth anytime soon. Also, uh, there is something else I want to have a look at. Which is that the game seems to be... I don't like the way that it kind of blurs. Um, I'm trying to think what might what might cause that. Uh, I don't really think that's going to make any difference. Let me try that just to see. It definitely seems a bit blurry, but we're getting there. Where's that demonic growth anyway? I can't see. No, oh, there it is. We got it in the end. <laughs> we found it in the end. There's another one. Perfect timing. Oh, Doctor, I've got a demonic growth. <laughs> okay, thanks for that. You just destroyed that thing that... Somehow I don't think it was about... Uh, it wasn't there to, to help me. So jump on horizontal pipes and wires to grab and traverse them. So I assume there's a wire or pipe somewhere that I'm supposed to grab onto. Must be those wires there, I guess. It was pretty obvious, really, when I thought about it. Look at this guy just running about on the roof. He's totally aimless. It's like, what's going on? I can't seem to find my way to the door. It's right there. Well, that was quite, that was quite lucky, yeah? The wire... Uh, the wire went away after we were there for a minute. Well, we can do this to go quickly. Because there are a load of monsters on the wall with us. So yeah, we can kind of climb up a bit quicker. With all the monsters around us. What's in here? What's this? It's a load of bulbous creatures. Oh. So yeah, we can do the dash, which I knew about already, but I can't go through the tables when I'm dashing, unfortunately. Yes, hit him with a chair. Why not why why not hit him with a, a chair instead of your massive sword? That seems sensible, doesn't it? Anything else? Oh, there's another one, look. There's loads of them. But no, so I hope everyone's having a good night. Had a nice, uh, easy day's work today because I was only on a short day today, which was nice. So just on till like half past twelve and then had the day to kind of do stuff myself, you know. It was quite nice. Whee! But full day tomorrow. I've booked a, lo I've booked a bunch of holidays as well that, were, that I had left. You know, what's quite good is um, I've been used to, so for the last, God, ten years... Pretty much from the beginning of November right through until the end of January, um, I've not been able to take any holidays, um, just because the company I worked for never really gave any holidays in that period of time. So I've booked myself like uh, basically a week off between the twelfth and no, well the thirteenth to the nineteenth uh, of December, and then obviously I'll be working a few days, and then I won't be, and then I'll be off for like the twenty uh, fourth, twenty fifth. 26th and 27th, which is quite nice. Definitely not used to... Definitely not used to that. Let's save the game while we're here. But yeah, so it's quite good because I'm, I'm getting holidays that I'm not used to having at all. So it's really quite nice. I wasn't sure if I could take any more because uh, it seemed like everything was kind of used up for the, for the year at work, but thankfully there were a few days that nobody had booked, so that was quite nice. But yeah, it's quite surprising to me being able to get a holiday on 
We want to throw the car at this guy. See that? So we can throw cars at people. Or we can, like, blow up the cars with the people on them, I suppose. What we want to do is try and get these finishing blows on them. So yeah, that's probably some additional time for doing some other stuff as well. Whether it's streaming or whether it's just doing some other things in between. I'm in trouble hitting this guy. Especially because I, I won't be doing a stream on Christmas Day, obviously, because I won't be at home, probably. <laughs> Who's about? Who do I need to fight against? I don't even know where I'm supposed to go here. There's a red skull over there. Is that not the bad guy from that that old um, that old Captain America film from like years ago? Why is that there? Well, it's like one of uh, Captain America's classic enemies. That's not who's over there, though. There's a big pit of fire. I think now the game's a bit too quiet. Look at this guy. Do you know, I, I did always... I was always interested in the fact that these, these angel kind of characters... They remind me very much of, like, I don't know, like, Warhammer sort of stuff. And so they just feel like almost, like, Space Marines or something. But they don't do very well against, uh, monsters. At least not right there. Impossible. Abaddon. What is this? Abaddon's here. Where are my brothers? This cannot be... So particularly that guy with the thing over his eye. My lord. So yeah, basically, if you've never seen Darksiders before, I play one of the Horsemen of the Apocalypse. War, specifically. We didn't break the seventh seal. Abaddon. We didn't have to play chess with uh, with the Grim Reaper, Since thankfully. Have you done? I answer the call. That's like the the kind of iconic scene from from that film, which I've, I I have seen it, but I have to admit that for a lot of the film, there's not an awful lot going on really. That, that seems like a terrible thing to say about a film that a lot of people would say is a kind of classic, but... Oops. Here, have a car. Have a car in the face. Hit him with another car. Just throw cars at this guy repeatedly. Oops. The problem is that that thing stays on the screen. And then we have to hit him in the face while he's uh, while his head's down. And then we have to kind of avoid him as much as possible. And then he, he flips the road on us, Luke. I bet no one no one built a road. It's not from a film, no. Um, I'm just uh, I'm just like talking about a film, a, a very old film. Uh, Bergman, I think, um, where like somebody has to. Somebody plays chess against the Grim Reaper to try and, uh... I can't remember if it's to try and save his own soul or what it is, but... But no, this, this specifically isn't from a film. I just mentioned that because it... Because it said the, the seventh seal there. Which was the name of that film. <laughs> I have to wait for him to like drop a car on me so that I can so that I can attack him. Come on, drop a car on me. Give us a car, mate. 
That was maybe the wrong way to do that. So I didn't get to throw that at his face. But I did, uh, it did hit him and it counted, so that's fine. Whoops. I saw a video, um, before I was, before I started, I watched a video of somebody giving tips on, uh, ooh, what people do wrong playing Dead by Daylight. And a lot of them were basically the same things that I already thought. Like people bunching together to do generators at the start. Dodge that. And he does this. And that's when he throws a car at me. And then we can throw it at him. And we need to hit him with one more so that he goes down again. Which means I have to run about and avoid him for a wee well. Unfortunately. We missed, uh, we didn't, we didn't avoid that one. difficult, um, like I can do this and I can watch what he's doing, now he's throwing a car, there we go, pick up the car, throw at him, he goes down and then we can presumably hit him in the face again, now he's, uh, now he's killable I think, or at least we can stab him with our sword, oh, unless somebody stops us, somebody stop me. Somebody did, look. I don't have my weapon anymore. The law. The law has been broken. <laughs> Basically, um, what happens, uh, I'm, if I remember rightly, what happens is all of his powers kind of get reduced as he's kind of deemed guilty of uh, releasing all of this. Torment on the world. There you go. Got absolutely nothing to do with that film. I just mentioned it because because of a, a mention of the title of that film. If the claims are true. With your claims. The seals were broken. I was summoned. Then where are the other horsemen? Were they not summoned as well? The seven seals. It's like he's been summoned to as they have been since the pack was forged eons ago. For kind of, the, of I guess for the end of the world and essentially it wasn't supposed to happen. You raided the dark ones. I know, I know. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Very much more a sort of story-based kind of thing. Uh, there's a little bit more... There's some other sort of, I'd say, puzzly sort of stuff in it, but more kind of moving stuff around, you know? Not like uh, escape room puzzles or anything. You have defiled the law. <laughs> These voices. Only the council. Only the balance. As the horsemen always have. <laughs> Send me back. I'm not. I'm not. I'm be, I was saying at the start. I'm not 100 percent sure if this is a great streaming game. Um, but I don't think it's necessary to be like 100 percent focused on the game the whole time. You know. Arguably only when you're in a big fight, you know? Come forth and jump in the lava. Got a very big hand there, Luke. A very large hand. 
So yeah, we're going to be watched while we try to while we try to resolve this issue. And his arm might chat to him from time to time. Did I get my sword back now? Yes, this is the Charred Council. What's up here? Ooh. The Angry Blade. Tend to come off, come for the company. Aye, no worries. That's all right. That's all right. Hopefully, I suppose sometimes the good thing is, you know, when it's not when it's not dead by daylight, you know, it means it does give you the time to get the beating done, which is good. <laughs> so we don't have all the powers that we want, but um, the blade geyser, harnessing the power of the chaos here, this attack summons a field of deadly blades around me. So I've obtained my first wrath power. If I go in here, you can find out what it is. Uh, select a wrath power or consumable, map it to a button and press LB and then that button to use it. So in this case, oops, we want to choose it and then map it to X, I guess. Uh, we've also got a consumable item, which is some life essence to heal with. I don't need it right now. So there we go. And if I press LB, you can see that it lets me use my power if I want to. And yeah. We buy things with the souls of the dead. Because why not? And now we just go in this wee portal and we're off. So yeah, souls can manifest in three forms. You get the purple one, which is currency, the green one which is health and the other one which is wrath which helps me unlock the more powerful form to like fight things Seek the demon Few can afford his services, but perhaps you can strike a bargain the council confers with demons now does it since the truce was broken some demons have fallen from the destroyer's favor so demons and angels and all sorts of people Working together. What's going on? How long have I been here? Three hundred years. Oh. Oh no. For step deal, you tend to hold your beads and watch too much. It's a puzzle game. You're getting your notebook. Yeah, that's probably true. Actually, yeah. <laughs> Play a game that you don't have to kind of focus so much on and. Uh... <coughs> You get the chance to... Your productivity goes up a bit. The same as, uh... The same as Dadaist was saying, you know? Productivity like goes up a bit. Was a off. Well, we went to the wrong place. Oh, but I'm not going anywhere. I was just standing here. Let's lay down a few ground rules. He's got to set some rules. Lovely. You bark, and if I have to kick you, you had better not bear your teeth. Understand? Or should I teach you to play dead? I'd rather not, thanks. I'd rather solve this this situation, if you don't mind. Good boy. Hopefully, I can't remember. Hopefully, we at some point get to like get rid of him too. But we're in the Seraphim Hotel, looking for the demon Vulgrim. And there's the way up. Up and out. Summon the Watcher by pressing and holding this button. So we can press that, it'll summon this Watcher thing. He doesn't, he's, not mu he's not much help at the moment, so... Here's a car, Luke. Can we throw it at him? There we go, we threw a car at him. Just because he's a pain in the arse. 
Whoops. So we can do like a double jump, unless we just fall off, in which case, uh, well, that doesn't really help much either. But we don't jump very far, at least at the moment. I can grab and move along most ledges. I'm looking to find a ledge that I'm supposed to grab and move along. And I didn't find it. Back down we go. Whoops. <laughs> the double jump doesn't help there. Was there a ledge that I was supposed to grab onto and I just didn't see it? Oh, what is it? Maybe that little ledge on the edge there. Like that. Oh, it's, it's this, Luke. We just go along the along the wall here and then jump across and down. Nice and easy. What's happened to this guy, Luke? He's had the top of his head taken off. They don't look very human when they when they died. Unfortunately some of them are still alive. Well I say alive, that's debatable really. Zombies. Here comes the welcome party. Okay, they're not very welcome. I'll be honest with you. They're not welcome. They're not a welcome party at all. Why don't you introduce yourself? I was thinking just that. Oddly enough. I mean, the sword is about the same size as these people, these uh, zombies, so... You think it would just uh, cut them in two very easily? Oops. We do have to get some weak enemies so we can build up our uh, souls that we can use to, like, buy powers and stuff. The good news is these zombies do like to get stuck behind pillars. A bit like the ones in Dead by Daylight, actually. <laughs> they do like to get stuck behind things, too. Can I get through there? No. So it's been a while since I last played this. I can't remember everything, but I'm sure it'll all come back to me. Like, here's a big... Uh... Well, that was good. That was good. We didn't have to kill that enemy in the end. I can't remember if there's a way you can cross these faster. Oh, more zombies. Good. The gauntlet glow. So when his gauntlet's glowing... Uh, near interactive objects, you can press B to activate them, essentially. Of course, we have got a lot of enemies to deal with here first, so... Mainly just, uh, just some extra zombies. Do that. Ooh, a lift just fell down, so we were, uh, it was worth waiting. Do we go down? Or do we go up? Well, we go down, because there is no up. Uh, so we can move quickly with this. We can, like, go left, right, and up quickly, but we can't go down quickly. I don't even know if I had to go all the way down. Doesn't appear to be anything to do down here. I'm wondering if there was somewhere else I'm supposed to go. Oh, there's a pla there's a thing to grab onto there, I think. No, there's not. Oh, I guess we want to go to the platform up the bit up above where we just were. Jump off! Can't jump off. I see. I appear to be stuck. Fuck. Can I jump back? I'm trying to remember if I can, like, jump backwards or something. I don't know if that would really help me. All that did was got me in there, which wasn't really what I wanted. Doesn't appear to be a way to do that, to go in there. There we are, we're in now. All those zombies were just lounging about, just waiting for me. We want to kind of evade that thing if we can. And then take hits on it after it's taken a swing. There we go. Ouch. 
Otherwise, it does do a bit more damage than the zombies. I can focus on them as well, which might be easier. But when there's a lot of them around, it's difficult to focus on one enemy, really. He's going to blow up. Thankfully, when he blows up, um, we get a load of health back. As long as we can uh, stop him before, before we die. Well, there we go, we're on our way. We're on our way. Dragging objects. You can drag some objects by pressing B and shifting them. But I have to hold the button to do it. I think we just use it to get up there. If I remember rightly, I am going along the pipe. So we can press RB and left stick to go quickly across these, which is good because it saves us uh, it saves us going really slowly along the pipes. What we don't want to do is fall off the bloody platform here, it causes all sorts of other problems. I don't need to explain the button presses, I don't think, really, do I? <laughs> Sent him flying, he's still not dead though. There he goes. That's good. There we go. I'm waiting for my uh, my slide out keyboard tray to appear. You're not going to be playing this. No, so explaining the button presses to you isn't really necessary. <laughs> What's going to come in here? Something big. Something big. It's just fighting a lot of things, that's all. Let's use this and just see what it does. There you go. It sends some swords up out of the ground. To help take down enemies. But we can only use it every now and again. We can't use it all the time. Someone else might need the info, that's true. There's a lot of these, uh, there's a lot of these zombies. Oh, what happened there? They turned into a big demon. Come on then. Have to go! Oh shit! Oh, I haven't got my I haven't got my power to use because I used it too early. I also needed to heal there because I kind of messed up. I don't know how quickly he can like charge across to me. I need to watch out because a hit from him is quite nasty. Whoops. We kind of uh, delayed that a little bit too soon, too early, I think. Whoa, that was close. Whoops. He's got like a double attack that he does every now and again that we've got to watch out for. Like he does a double lunge sort of thing. Ooh, we got caught by the edge of it there. I kind of feel like getting behind him is the best option. Now we can kill it. As soon as that B button comes up, it's, it's nice and easy to finish them off. Assuming we're close enough and then we get a hell of a lot of extra bits and pieces. And the thing goes away. It's a bit like... Um, these sorts of bits are a bit like um, Devil May Cry, where you get locked into an area until you defeat the enemy, you know, and then you and then you get out once uh, once you've defeated the enemy. Obviously, <laughs> broken stairs. Oh, zombies! 
So the idea is that by the time we find this demon that we're supposed to buy, essentially he's like a, a merchant sort of thing. We should have plenty of souls to use to buy things. Also, we can open this to give us some extra health, which we could do with because our health was quite low. After fighting that big monster. Yeah, obviously. <laughs> you know, sometimes you say something and you immediately kind of go, why did I say that? <laughs> How long was I gone? In Earth years? About a hundred century. years, there you go. Long enough for the last of the mouth breathers <laughs> to die off. <laughs> exactly, yeah. The third kingdom. It's like it's really obvious. It's really obvious. I don't have to explain it. Giant leap into the unknown there. What comes now? Did a big jump. I don't know if that was for dramatic effect, but there was nobody there to do it, to to react. Uh-oh. Someone's laughing. This is the demon we were looking for, Vulgrim. Took me seriously. Mm. If so, you're surely not empty handed. For well, this shall be the briefest of introductions. A very brief introduction, no. No. Mm. <laughs> What's this? The souls. We're giving him all the souls. That's what he needs. He needs souls to, I don't know. Yeah, he's a demon, so... The, the things Jesus that he enjoys are probably not going to be very nice. Find the answers and the font of his power there. In that big tower. Oh, God. Oh, such haste to die. Yeah. You aren't even a shadow of your former self. You wouldn't last a heartbeat. Besides... I think this, you know, this character we're playing as is already pretty huge, but then he's even bigger. Do not know the way. Who does? Feed Everyone in this game's got one hand bigger than the other. And I'm not entirely sure why. So yeah, feed him souls and he'll give us stuff. Collect 500 souls, we only have 234. So, uh, Demon Trinket reveals the location of any nearby chests on the map. We can access the map here, and it'll show us where some, some chests and stuff are, and I think we can get souls out of those. So let's make our way towards the chests. I think there's one on... Where? Where's that? It's kind of to my right there. Oh, it's down in the, uh... It's down in this pit here, look. Hopefully we can get this before they come. We can, and then just hop out the hole and keep on going. That should get us to 500 souls relatively quickly if all of the chests are like that one. Next one, kind of to my right. Must be up above me there. Also, we might get enough just from killing the zombies. But probably not. How do we get up there? At least it's only weak enemies we have to deal with here. How'd I get up there, I wonder? It doesn't look to be an obvious way. Maybe over there. No. Okay, well, let's look for another one. There's one over to the right. Oops. There's one down in this hole over here, so we'll go for that. Oh, except we do have to fight a big monster first. It's got like a big scythe. We can press RB to block. Get rid of these bloody monsters. Luckily we can hack his legs off there and it's all good. It's 
So there might be a creature blocking us on each of these chests that we need to get. I like that all of these buildings, you know, obviously everything's been destroyed. The world's been overrun by sort of monsters. And yet the buildings look... Oh, this one's just full of health stuff. The buildings look like they've barely been... Uh, they've barely been abandoned. Oh, there's two of them. Three of them. Oh no, the fire hydrant's even got water in it. Oh no, there's a... Get out of the way! There's one of those bloody things as well. Didn't expect that, I have to be honest. Oops. I need to find something to throw at them. There are some cars over here. Maybe we can throw some cars at them. Oh yeah, throw it the other way. That's good. That was nice. We threw the car behind us. So there you go. But at least we got th rid of those things. That one's now over there. So that monster's kind of a a ignoring us now. Like, it followed us a wee bit, but then it ran away. Where's the next chest? There is a chest inside that building there, though. So I guess we got to go and find that. So look at these chairs. I mean, to be honest, it just looks like that, that chair's had a bit of wear. <laughs> You know, the tables are still in relatively uh, solid kind of order. You'd expect a lot of this stuff to, like, really heavily degrade in a hundred years, wouldn't you? Takes a sword hit as well, look. That's the kind of table you want in your, in your house, huh? Look, that one doesn't even move. That monster's out there. Possibly try to find a way to get me. Um, so there's a chest. It looks like there's a chest where that monster is. Oh, I think that hit the bloody zombie. Bring the souls back to Vulgrim. So we've got enough souls. We have enough souls to feed Oops. We need to stay away from this this thing, actually, anyway. It's pretty dangerous fighting another one of these so soon. Can't even use my power. That was close. Ow! I probably shouldn't be fighting that thing, to be honest. It seems like it gives up after a little while. I don't know if we can go down here and get this chest. And throw cars in, yeah. They can't shove a desk in a room, though. No. I feel like going up here is a bad idea. With that thing right behind me. But there's a chest up here. Well, that's that's got health. That's got healing stuff in it. I shouldn't have bothered. Oh, shit. I shouldn't have bothered. I know that they'll stop chasing me once I get back to the other place, though. Yeah, you can't uh, can't destroy a, a desk, but you can you can probably pick up the desk and throw it. Actually, I don't know where the big monster is. It seems to have disappeared. So while we're waiting for it to catch up, we'll just uh, kill this one. It's well, it might have given up chasing me. Okay, we're all right. There's a chest up there, but I don't know how to get it. There doesn't seem to be a way to get up there. That I can see. Maybe there's a way to climb the building. And get to it from the other side. I don't know, well there's a zombie there so let's... Get rid of it. Yeah, I don't see a way up there. Okay, let's just not do that just now. And let's go and see what he's gonna do, what he's gonna give me. For 500 souls. Probably not very much. Oh, he's giving me that, Luke. 
It's a wooden club. Seek out Samael's prison. Once, Samael was close in power to the Dark Prince himself. Some might even say a threat. Okay, yeah. <laughs> like that one desk. That one desk just would not move that much, even when I hit it with my sword. I don't know what it was made of. Maybe it was made of, like, titanium or something. <laughs> I doubt it. So there we go, we need to find the demon, Samuel. Open this gate. The Earth Caller, it's a carved horn that opens gates. So press that, go into my inventory. Um, we want to map, that's like a passive thing, so we want to map that to there, it doesn't really matter. And then go back. Big fart. And that opens a gate. And the gate happens to be a giant stone creature. Absolutely. But he's awake. Yeah, it's strong and light. Yeah, it wouldn't be used for... Oh, yeah, I wonder what would be... What would be a heavy one to use? It's made of, like, um, plutonium or something. I don't know. That, that's obviously quite heavy, but... It's made of lead. It's a table made out of an entire block of lead. But I think we'd be able to damage that pretty well with a sword. Maybe he knocks down that bit thing for me to get up there. Well, like, lead and gold are really heavy, but obviously they would be quite, quite malleable, wouldn't they? Where are we going? What's he doing? We go through this door. No. Yeah, like gold. Gold, because gold's the same, isn't it? It's really heavy, but it's very squashable, shall we say? Malleable, as they would, as you'd say, work it with a hammer, sort of thing. And then you've got like radioactive, kind of heavy metals, which would be heavy, but wouldn't be much use as a desk, obviously. <laughs> Oh, he just belched out his bloody guts. He's wasted all those attacks on nothing. Well, oh. oh, watch actually, because oh, he's gonna blow up. Move away when he blows up. Make sure we don't get blown up. So he just belches out all of his, like, guts. It's not nice. There is... another one of them down there, look. I feel like we could just make it across to this and ignore him. Can't be bothered fighting another one of those. Can't get me now. Here's where it jumps up onto the platform, watch. And proves to me that I was wrong all along. It's like, oh, you wanted to get up there to get away from me. No such luck. Bye. Good news is we can get some of this and just heal a bit. There we go. Kick that door open. There we go. Just going to blow the horn for a minute just to... Just to let everyone know that we're here. The Scalding Gallo. It's just an announcement to let them know where we are. 
just to save me trying to find them. Here they come, see? I'm gonna chop that one in half. I don't know, I wonder what would be a... a metal so heavy that it would be almost immovable, but also couldn't be damaged very easily. There's a thing up there. There's more over here, let's go and take this one down. He's not much use when we're, uh, when we block that guy. There we go, take him down quickly. Ooh, we uh, leveled up our sword. A little bit. So that's good. Much more chance of uh, leveling up your sword than, uh, than the Tories leveling up the UK. Uh, what's all that? Who's this up here? Do you know what's imprisoned here? There are things even you things even I should fear. Like what? Once you were strong, but now too many beans. Weak and you are alone. The Apocalyptic farts. We don't want that. Even now. He moves his legions against you. Then I'll make this quick. Uh, I don't know if I should fight this guy now. This might have been a bad. This might have been a bad decision. I guess we're about to find out. Ooh. Yeah, I know that's. I can use that attack. Let's use this. That knocks him down. Whoops. Yeah, I used the power of item already. Tell me, oh, you can use your power here if you want. And I'm like, yeah, I just used it, so... I think he's actually blocking there, so I don't think we're going to be able to do him any damage at that point. Yeah, look, he blocks. He's blocking as soon as I go over there. So I think we probably have to kill all of his little guys before we can fight him again. He's going to take my head. Oh, he's going to give me more of them, are you? Giving me more uh, easy uh, enemies to fight off first for a wee while. Because he doesn't want to fight me on his own. Oops. Oh shit. Yeah, he keeps blocking everything, which is kind of annoying. And then he kind of attacked the ground around him. Oops. He's gonna take my head. I don't think he's gonna manage it, but... Let's take his instead. There we go. He was a bit tough initially, but we beat him. Mainly because he got all his pals to do the fighting for him. What's happening now? Is this thing going to come to life? It looks like you can move that. It looks like we can move this thing. Yeah, we can, look. I guess we drag it back. Or do we... No, we drag it forward. Look, there's a slot on the floor there. There we go. A blood-puking gargoyle, as he says. What's under here? He said there was something under here that we needed to be scared of. So what is it? There's another one we need to move there, look. I can't... I don't think I can remember what this is. 
I guess we're going to find out in a minute. There we go. It's a pit of fire. War. Are you here to play executioner? There we go. I should have sent all four of you. It's your uh, your classic um your classic uh, Tim Curry is the devil from uh, the film Legend. As prison made you a coward. <laughs> Excuse me. Perhaps there is a way, but you will need to get inside the destroyer's spine. I don't think that's who it is that voiced this, but he has got a similar look to him. Bring me their hearts and ask me no questions. He wants people's hearts. But at least we don't have to fight him. Where can I find these guardians? First, seek the Twilight Cathedral. Where the Bat Queen Tiamat has gone to roost. The Bat Queen. The there she is. is a blistered inferno. By land, you will never reach it. Find the so we need to fly there. With this. There we go, we got some wings. And bring me her still beating heart. Oh, we have to make sure it's still beating when we get it back to him. Okay. Find Tiamat and take her heart. So yeah, that lets us glide. Um, which is quite nice. Shadow flight, as it says. So that lets us kind of glide a wee bit, which is helpful for some of the longer distances that we sometimes have to get across. Uh, and there's also those things which, if I remember rightly, kind of blow us up in the air. Kind of like some... Some thermals. A shadow current, they call it. Unfortunately, we can't attack that while uh, while coming down out of the air. We may as well fight this thing because it gives us quite a lot of uh, souls and things. When it eventually dies. You have to wait for it to be ready to explode though. There it is. And that gives us some healing. And then we get rid of that zombie while we're here. I don't think there's anything else on this platform that we need to get. There's no chests or anything. Um, there's a path up there that I didn't take. Before we go through that door, I wonder if it's worth checking that out. Let's have a look. This game does have those have a lot of things where you can find items and helpful stuff in like different places. And I don't think... I'm trying to remember, I'm not sure that it shows me all the chests normally it was just that one time to give me an idea of how that works to give me an idea of how a map works you know just in case I wasn't sure about how a map works I'm trying to remember if these are like different areas that we have to go to later I think this is like a kind of central hub that sends us back that we go from. I might be wrong. There's a chest in here, see? With some souls. We'll have those. That gives us... Uh, we're up over 500 souls this time. Oh, this is a, this is a location where you can find Vulgrim, Luke. And so, if we talk to him, we can buy items with the souls. Legion Artifacts. But yeah, so you can buy these extra things off him. That just restores our wrath, which I'm not too interested in. Um, but we can also do, like, sword upgrades. We can do we buy new weapons. And we can also buy powers from him. Um, I saw a sword upgrade. So we're going to buy it. Which was that, I believe. I'm just going to go up here and just see if there's anything interesting here. There is. There's another chest. So we may as well open this before we move on. 
a wrath shard if we get more that that creates a wrath core and we get more wrath with which to use more powers which is nice I think that's all oh no there's more up this way what's this way oh it's just another uh, I think that opens later he said farewell for now and I'm away so we'll go through that bit that we can go to first because I don't think we can enter these places until we've unlocked other powers. If I remember rightly. Can't remember if that thing up there can be like smashed up. I think. Yeah, oh that's right. There's those things, like you can see there's a thing stuck in the middle of that. There's a weapon or an ability you get later that allows you to pick those up and they're like bombs. That you can use to blow up certain things, but I can't do it yet because I don't have the ability to do it. We can go inside this, uh, I'm not sure what this is, hallway. So we can display our, our display there. I don't really need it just yet because I don't really need to use my powers against these things. A waste of powers. Maybe we'll get rid of that one as fast as we can. There we go. I, yeah, I put. I noticed. I saw you noticed that I'd put some more cat pictures on the uh, Discord. For some reason, for a little while, my phone wasn't letting me uh, put any pictures into my Discord. Which was confusing. Um, so those were some pictures over a, a little while. Because, uh, wait, did I not just... I just went this way. Uh, so I was finally able to upload a couple more pictures there. Which was nice. Oh, there's a... Oh, no! A weird thing in the wall. Yeah, there, there was a couple. So there was one... Uh, it was a picture from a while ago where he was, like, sleeping on me. This thing will hurt me if I'm not careful. Some sort of throbbing thing on the wall. I don't know quite what to make of it, to be honest. Oh yeah, we can, we can climb up. We can walk across the roof. But no, yeah, it, for some reason, it was my own, even though it was my own Discord, it wasn't letting me add any pictures to it on my phone. Which is kind of frustrating, because obviously, I mean, I could probably do it by uploading the picture from my phone to the computer and then messing about that way, but that's just a bit of a pain in the arse, to be honest. He just fell down into the into there. I don't know if that's something we need to do anything with. Apparently not. Apparently that's okay. We don't need to do anything with that. We have to go this way. I can see there's one of those kind of currents over there. Wait, is there something down there? No. I think probably that would have been a, a jump without using the uh, glide. Okay, so I think we have to follow the path. Nice and easy. Just follow the path. Around here. Up and up. There we go. The choking grounds. This is the place we needed to come to. So yeah, we, we start getting more kind of open areas to to explore. Um, and then there's so there's more stuff to find. We've got like a bat to fight. I think we can use the bats to kind of fly up. Sometimes it could be a file size. Maybe, yeah. Uh, maybe it's something like that. But I mean, they were the same pictures. I didn't have to do anything to the pictures to to upload them. Um, and something down there. Well, that's one of those artifacts he was asking about, I think. We'll have to fight this thing. 
So that's a soldier artifact. Turn it to Vulgrim and I'll get a reward. So we want the artifact. Thank you very much, Dadas. Have a good night. Hope I've, uh, hope I've helped you get through your work there. Oh shit. Have a good night though. Safe drive home. Does the mobile app limit the file size? It's weird though, because I haven't changed the images at all. Um, right, so there's a cross. And there's a monster. We've got skeletons coming out of the ground. Skeleton soldiers. Get rid of that one while we can. He just stood there and waited. Have a good night, though. See you next time. Right, we got rid of that skeleton. What is this in the middle? I think this is where that Vulgrim guy comes out, yeah. So I can give him this... Can give him this artifact. I don't know what the artifact gives me. So the artifact gives me more souls that I can then use to buy stuff. New uh, weapons would be ideal, but we can't afford one right now. We can do like a slash behind us. Um, I'm going to use this harp to get the harpoon tackle though. And then, so that lets us go... That wasn't actually what I meant to do. That's it. Let's just charge towards the enemies. So I'm just looking to see where we want to go, because up on the right there is, th is where we go to get to like the next area. But we don't need to do that right away. It's always worth kind of breaking stuff up in this game just because uh, you can always get souls and things. I think that's where we just came from, so we don't need to go there. Let's take a bit of a wander about. Walk in the water. So let's take a look and just see what we can find in this place before we go to the... the place it wants us to go to. There's one of those monsters with, with, that goes on fire and blows up in our face. The good news with that is that we will get... We will get plenty of souls out of this battle. Particularly as there's also... Uh, Looks like skeleton soldiers here. Oh, shit. We are close to death, though, as well. We need to be careful here. Blew himself up. We stayed just out of range, thankfully. But there we go. Was there anything interesting over here, though? Apparently not. Right, well, that that's that side. Let's go down here and see what's down the bottom here. Oh, look, there's one of these skeleton guys stuck on the wall. It's funny, actually, you know, watching, looking at some of these creatures and the fact that they have got some slightly glitchy movement when you think this is a game that's been out for a while and you'd think they would have been able to iron out anything like that by now. But just now and again, they, they put themselves on weird paths. Um, so yeah, we're going to go fight this thing over here. Shouldn't have picked up the car, that was a bad idea. Oops. Oh, I fucking sent the car the wrong way. We need to be careful with this, because I actually missed him with the car. That's nice. Sometimes uh, you don't get a lot of time to to pick up the car and throw it at anyone, because they're usually chasing you. It's fine against an enemy like that one at the start, where it doesn't actually do much, you know.
There we go. We can get both of these now. There we go. So I'm just going to go and have a look and see what's over here. There's a sword spinning around on its own in the air. I think that was one of their weapons after I defeated them. Um, I don't think there's anything down there, so we'll just ignore that. Let's just blow the horn once. Yeah, so that's that area. Um, there's not really a lot, I don't think, in this area to find, but... Frustratingly, it's one of those situations where you, you don't want to take the chance in case you do miss something important. There we go. Smash up the skeletons. Oh, there's another one. Oh, and a bat as well. Excuse me. Is it dead? It doesn't actually have the thing to say that I can kill it straight above its head there yet, so... Now we can't. I think we get more souls as well if we smash them up. With that with that finisher, rather than just using... Just using the regular attacks. Alright, so let's cross over... Bat. Ow. So we can kind of use the bat against itself, almost. Once we grab it and kind of float on it. No worries, Lint. The bat's its own worst enemy. There we go, get rid of the skeleton. We could really do with more health. But, I mean, most of these enemies are pretty easy to defeat. They get stuck on a car, so we can get rid of them nicely. <laughs> there we go. Get rid of him. Oh, we've got a bat to fight. Jump up at it and press B. That's, that seems to work quite well. Just jump on the bat. It likes that. It'll grab you quite happily. Here, let's see if we can hit this guy with the car, Luke. This this fiery demon thing with the car. So we can pre we can aim, which I wasn't doing before. Which was probably the biggest issue. The problem with that aim thing is it doesn't go away after you launch the thing. Whoops. Roll. I thought he was about to explode there. Now he is. Move away. But that gets us some health that we needed as well, so that's nice. At least that gets us some healing. Right, so let's just keep going and just see what we can find around here. There's a chest with some health in it, so we'll take that. Oh, there's zombies coming out of the ground. Not a problem. Not an issue for me. What's that? There's a monster coming up out of the ground there. If it comes for me, we'll, we'll fight it. Come on. What are you waiting for? Here he is. Again, it's one of these skeletons which aren't exactly difficult to defeat anyway. It's gone. Next. <laughs> yeah, so we'll just head for the exit of this area now, because I think that's really all... Yeah, we, we're not close enough to wake that thing up yet. Oh, there's a chest up there. Can't get up there. There we are. I noticed the glowing top of the chest there, so I thought, well, we have to go and get that. There we go. And we hop down and we use the horn. Which should wake up this big stone guy. There you go. Hmm. I have come for the destroyer. My brother spoke of your coming. He's cursed. But a powerful curse holds me now. I cannot help you. I don't know what I do then. Any curse can be broken. How though? Yes, perhaps. 
These servants of the destroyer were Can we free him from his curse? Shadow. By their blood we are bound. By in the realm of shadow shall we be free. I can no longer move within the shadow realm. Yeah. Much of my power is left a bit of a problem. Is he going to send me into the shadow realm? Enter it. I will grant you the power. Oh, there we go. He's going to let me see. The accursed realm for a time. But to what end? What hope have we now against the destroyer's foul? Spirit? Plenty of hope. Just wait and see. Hope will not bring you freedom. We're not going to try and kill it, are we? There we go. Is he going to give me the power I need to to do what needs to be done for him? Find where these shadow lurkers hide and kill them all. Kill the shadow lurkers. In the in the end game. Is that them? Is that one? I can see you. Just destroy them. And then they send me here into a little arena to fight them, I guess. Where are you? Come on. Come forward and fight. There's a big eye with spiky bits around it. Oh wait. That's not the that's not what we're fighting. Yeah, it's a big eye. Uh, so an aerial brawl, we need to defeat five enemies using aerial combos within the time limit, basically. So here we go. Help if I could, uh... I don't think I can... The problem is I need to launch him in the air. I don't think I've got the power I need to do it yet. It's that. Get him in the air and then do that. But killing him on the ground doesn't count, so it doesn't work. There we go, that's how you do it. So we have to launch him in the air. And then just smash him up. And we've got two minutes to do it, so it shouldn't be difficult. It looks like we should do it now. That'll do it. Uh, that didn't count because he wasn't lo he wasn't in the air when I hit him with it. That one does. That one did as well. Okay, that's fine. So there's like little challenges we have to do to to kill all these things. I can't remember if, if we have to fight this or not. Or if it just ends the challenge. There you go, just destroy it. And we'll just get the rewards as well. For doing so. The health. And the, the wrath. And then we go away. There we go. So that's one of the shadow lurkers gone. We can see there's one over there on the other side of that. Not sure how to get there though. Oh, we have to go round. Well, let's go round. Let's make our way to this. But I think we have to get rid of all of these just so we can so we can free the. Uh, what is it, golem or what it is the the guardian from his curse? Here we go, next one. What's the next challenge going to be? Get ready for the next battle. So yeah, this spiky eye thing is just the shadow lurker, but we have to defeat its little challenge before we can uh, before we can defeat it. So the challenge here is uh, kill 30 enemies using only instant kill attacks within the time limit. So we have to use B once we've uh, once we've beaten them up enough. Oh, and they're bloody bats. That's frustrating. That's going to be a pain in the arse. 
So that counts, yeah, so that's that's what one of those is. So the jump and grab on the bat counts as an instant kill. Because we don't press anything other than the, uh, the B button when we attack them. Yeah, so we need to do a lot of them. Well, we need to do 30 in 5 minutes. Can we do 30 in 5 minutes? I don't know. We need to get the bat. Give me that bat. Get rid of it. So yeah, basically we have to kill it using the using the um, the special finisher move. So like that, that should count. It does good. Otherwise, that might have been a bit of a pain in the arse. But yeah, so because it, it said kill them with just that, so I thought. There we go. So it's not just that. You can attack them with regular attacks, but you have to use the uh, finishing blow to actually finish them. And not finish them with normal attacks. So there we go. That's nice and easy, really. The enemies are getting a little bit stronger as we progress, though. a little bit not not uh, not dangerously so but you know the bats are always there in there welcome back Lynn welcome back so we've only taken a minute to do like half of them so I think we'll be all right at the moment these are easy challenges because obviously the game wants you to get past this bit right now so it's just really teaching you this element of things, I guess. These kind of challenges. We're on 19. Ouch. Still have to watch our health, though. Oh, and there's a big bloody fiery demon as well. Get rid of this one. Thankfully, using that attack actually stops his attack from hurting me. Get the bats. Kill the bats quickly. I made a mistake by going in the air in front of that thing. I shouldn't have done that. Five more. We've only got two minutes to do it. Fuck, there's two of them now. Make that four, three more. The good news is there's more than three enemies here, so... Whoops. Move. Get out of the way. There we go. Two more. It's getting tougher, though. Get him, get him. One more. Don't want to fight that giant thing, that's a pain in the arse. There's a bat up there. No! There's the bat, get it. That's a nice easy one to get. Kill the bat, and then I hope that means everything's done. Yeah, everything else gets killed at that stage. So we just had to avoid those. And then the eye thing comes back. I guess we get rid of it. There we go, and we pick up the the other stuff that's left behind. Yeah, so the two the two glowing things underneath our health bar means that we we have more than one health bar essentially. So that helps us a bit because otherwise you'd die pretty fast in some of these fights, particularly if you play this game like I do. <laughs> Uh, so we've got two more. That one there. And the other one that's uh, closer to the gate we need out of. I think. Whee! Whee! So let's see what the challenge is in this one. Hopefully it's not too much of a pain in the arse. I thought fighting 30 enemies like that would have been quite tough to be fair, so... 
What's this one? Whoa, ho, 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 ho. Um, kill 50 enemies before my infected health depletes. Bonus soul souls will be rewarded for remaining health. So I need to kill all these before my health runs out. Basically, I'm poisoned and my health will go down gradually. And obviously, it'll continue to go... It'll go down quicker if they hit me, so... Thankfully, it's just zombies, so... So, I mean, that's 10 already. Seventeen, but there are again tougher creatures will appear as the fight goes on. I think we'll do this quite quickly, though. To be fair, unless that's all the zombies gone. Possibly time-wise, we're better just doing our regular attacks instead of the special attacks. We have got healing chests there as well that we can use. Oh no, apparently I can't use them. Well, that's weird. I don't know why they're there then. Oh no, I can use them. I just have to wait until those things are dead, I guess. Which is easier said than done, really. There we go. We're quite low on health now. Uh, if this is all we've got to fight, we might have some trouble. I need to go to that other one and get some more health. Could really do with more zombies, to be fair. These guys are a little tougher to deal with. But obviously they are going to get more difficult as time goes on. That's kind of the point of it all, although it makes it kind of frustrating. Can I get this? Is that Wrath? Whatever you want to call it. Ow! There we go. We can use that to get rid of them, which helps. That gets us to 43. Okay, but now we've not got much. We can't recover anything anymore after that, so... And we've got those bloody fire things. That giant bloody monster that's really annoying. Oh, I got hit by it. It looks like we have to kill all of these. Because nothing else has spawned since uh, since that thing came in. That should make it 49. Oh, no more have. I don't think we can win this fight if we fight this thing, though. Not easily, anyway. There's one dead. There we go. That's the challenge complete. There we go. Done. Done. I don't know if we'd have survived long enough to kill that one. But at least we shouldn't be poisoned anymore. Get rid of that thing. Refill this. The good thing is with that Wrath refill, then it gives us our power again at the start of the... The next challenge, which is nice. Okay, one more. How many? I didn't see how many souls I have there, but we've made our way, so I'm going to just quickly see how many souls I've got, see if I can pay for any skills or anything that might help, or maybe we should save them. I don't know, let's talk to him and see what he's got. Oh, we've got over a thousand now, we've got 1,400. That can boost the damage inflicted by weapon attacks. I can also buy the scythe. I'm going to buy that. Old, old, 
and that skill as well. So we can switch between weapons. So we need to make that a secondary weapon. Uh, I can't remember how to... Yeah, we use that with Y. So that gives us a wider sort of angle attack uh, that we can take down more enemies with at once. And you can do that with it too. <laughs> that does require you to kind of hold the button down. Right, well, we're off for another one now. I hope that this doesn't require me to use a skill that I could have bought there. Oh look, there's a lot of zombies on the ground here. What's the challenge here? Kill a lot of zombies. Ha 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 ha, yeah, you'll be laughing on the other side of your spiky eye shortly. Beat 40 enemies in the time limit. How long? I guess what we need to know is what's the time limit. Three minutes to kill 40 enemies. Now, as I say again, if it's if it's just zombies, no bother at all. But it won't be just zombies, it'll be other stuff too. There you go, see? More than just zombies. I mean, that's got us up to almost 30 enemies killed already. And the good news is, these guys aren't too tough to take down, but I would imagine that we're going to get another one of those horrible fiery demons at one point. Could be wrong. Ow. Oh yeah, there's one of those exploding guys, look. There's an exploding guy over there. Ow. Someone else attacked me as well. Oops. I'm scared of the exploding guy. Because I don't know when he's going to explode. But we've only got a minute and 20 seconds to finish this, so we have to attack him if we want to get past him. Oops. He's going to explode. Uh, I'm going to need to kill one more now, I think. There it is. Last one. Dead. And then they all just disappear, so it's nice. And that should be all of them. All of those random fighting challenges that we have to do. Uh, block counter. So if we press RB, um, we can counter attacks if we do it just before they hit. The chances of us actually managing that, who knows. <laughs> we'll see. The trouble is a lot of enemies like to come come at you from behind, you know. We've fully recovered our health. And let's leave. So now if we go to that gate, we should be able to get through, I hope. I guess we'll go and find out. Let's go. Let's get out of here, as he says. I don't think there's anything else that we need to get up on any of those. What's that? What's down there? I might want to just go and have a look and see what's down here. Ah! Uh... Is there something useful down here? No, I don't think there is. Is that how we got in here before? Maybe it is. Ah! Uh, maybe it is, I don't know. Right, there we go. Let's go and open this gate. No, I don't think it is, actually, now that I think about it. That should be enough. Wakey, wakey! 
You're free of your curse. They let me through this gate. I feel like there might actually be something else down that hole. There's a whole area there. The, it was there that we came in from. I'm going to go down that hole and just see what's down there. Oh, we got some weapon enhancements. Let me have a look. So I sign the enhancement. Yep, that's fine. Go down here. Whee! Let's see what's down here, because it's definitely... There's definitely something down here. Oh yeah, there's a big chest of, of uh, souls down here, so we may as well have it. Seeing as we're here anyway. Leave no souls unturned. Or unburned. I don't know. I don't know what we're doing with them, really. We're using them as a form of currency, but... I'm not sure what the people were giving them to do with them. It looked like he was eating them. And I think that's it. I think that was all that was down here, so... Oh, there's a thing. We can't get up there, though, because that needs to be blown up. Get that. Another Wrath Shard. Nice. Yeah, we blew him up just by using two, uh, two of our big attacks. But I don't think... Yeah, we can't do anything in this place just now. Because what we need is the thing to blow that up. And I can't do that. I can't do that with any of the weapons that I have at the moment, so... We got the souls, though. So let's get out of here. Go through that gate that we just opened up. But it was worth a look just to see if there was anything useful there. Now let's go. Enter the tunnel that's now unblocked. There is a door. Overgrown with roots. That newspaper says, bring it on! And it's got a football, an American football player. Right, looks like a green bay. Kit, maybe? I imagine. I couldn't quite make it out because it's a wee bit grainy. Who it is, but I imagine it's a well known player. Get over there. Off the top of my head, I can't remember who. No, don't. Car's no use. Don't throw a car. Who throws a car anyway? Okay, so we cross over here. Oh, there's another bat nearby. And I think there's another thing that we can... Uh, there's another thing that we can break open there, but we need a different weapon for it too, so... Can we get out of here without having to fight those? Good. Although I can't remember if they follow me in. No, they don't, because the door shuts. Oh, we're trapped in here, though, until we fight whatever this is. Well, we'll just... Uh, yeah, we jump on him, kill him before he's even come out of his hole in the ground. Right, we'll use the scythe as well while we're at it. Kill this one. There's lots of them coming. that we spin an attack just for fun. There we go. There's one of them ready to, to die now, so... Finish them all off as fast as we can. Which is relatively 
at the moment relatively simple. But obviously, things will get more difficult. And we'll gradually level ourselves up to deal with it. Anything over there? It's worth looking behind you, just in case. We're on the broken stair. There's a couple of zombies right there. And there's a bat above my head as well, brilliant. Can't grab it, why not? There we go, we grabbed that one. There we go, and then we'll take down the zombie on the ground. And then we'll get the other bat. <laughs> I can throw the car at it while I'm jumping, there you go. A jumping car throw. Where are we going? Probably up there. We've got some... Yeah, I'm thinking we have to jump from that window and go up those things. In fact, I'm pretty certain that's probably exactly what we have to do. Oh, but the zombies are around, so we have to deal with them while we're while we're moving around. The scythe's not too bad for getting rid of a few zombies. Because they're pretty weak. It even works quite well against these guys, to be fair. Oh, I thought I got him with my attack. Apparently I didn't. There we go. Next. Get this open. Grab some more souls. We're on 900 odds, so we'll get a decent upgrade next time we meet Vulgrim, maybe. Because we'll have, we'll have even more by the time we get there, so... Right, fly over here. Make sure we line up right for the next one. And I assume we go this way. Yep. Oh, some bats just came out of the front of that building. I accidentally used the uh, the horn as well. Oh look, I can even string together the jumps from one bat to the next. There you go. I want to go and get that chest that's over there. If I can. I wish you could move the cars out of the way with your weapon, but you can't. There we go. So if we collect four of those life shard things, we get some extra health. Which would be nice. Just help us last a wee bit longer. I'm just going to ignore that zombie because it's kind of worthless. Jump down. Check there's nothing on this platform before we move to the next one. There's not, so move on. Whee! Okay, uh, there's... Oh, there's a monster there. Oh, it's coming from behind me. It's coming from all the way back there. There we go. It's coming for me. Oh, just all those things are gone. So I can't I can't escape from this platform. Hit him with the car. I can't get back across there, so I guess I've got to let him throw a car at me and then throw it back. Assuming it doesn't fly off the platform entirely. Ooh, nasty. I need to be very careful about these attacks. Because he's pretty dangerous. I don't want to fall off there either. That was close. I don't know if he's going to, like, jump back and start throwing more cars at me at some point. 
Oh, I didn't expect that second lunge. Oops. Can use that, but I think I might have used it in the wrong place. Oh, no, I'm almost dead. I don't know there's a lot I can do about this. Oh, there he goes, dead. He's dead at last. I thought we were going to be stuck having to try and fight that thing. I know we're alright, and we got a bit of our health back too, so that was nice. And the good thing is the glidey things come back, so we can move on. The glidey things, that's a kind of um, technical term for what they are. Chest, full of souls. So it's worth checking every platform before you move on to the next one, just because there might be something useful there. There's a chest under, under on the floor below me there, look. There's also something on the roof there. He just went off the side, so I think we don't have to worry about him anymore. Okay, there's a weird gate there. Oh, well, we can go down, so we can go down and get the chest down there, potentially. Here I am. I guess hopefully we go upstairs as well and get whatever that yellow thing was on the on the roof. Uh, we can go down more, but I want to go up. I want to go up there. But I don't know if maybe that stops us. Alright, it seems like... I don't know if we need to, like, stab it from the distance. Or what we need to do, to be honest. It doesn't look like I can do it. But maybe we have to do that to progress. Because the eye closes when we're... I don't know. Let's not try that just now. Let's go back down. There's another... There's more stairs going down the way, so we'll have a look at that first. See what we missed down here. Oh, monsters. Can't remember if maybe there's another weapon I need to get through that door or whatever. Or if there's some other reason for that. We can open this, this funny looking chest, Look. smash it open and we get the beholder's key that's how we get into that thing and a couple of bookshelves there for some light reading looks like they've read all the books though and just got rid of them all next floor I don't suppose uh, I don't know if demons would read a lot of books do they who knows so now I can use this on the, the wee eye. Stab it in the eye and then the gate opens. And there's something on that roof. Oh, tell me there's not another one of those monsters. Oh, it's an angel. There are angels coming for me. There's like four of them there. This way. Ooh. Oh no. It's nothing. It's nothing. Demon trick. Yeah, probably. I know what, I saw. what did he see? He's right. Uriel. Uriel. Let's get to see what they're doing, conspiring. Beneath the stench of this place. You can sense it. Ain't What's that? It's a griffin. From neither the white city nor the black depths. Something lost between. Someone riding on a griffin. Where are you going? No, 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 don't go. Don't fight them. What are you doing? There was a thing on the roof I wanted. Helgard, two arms. Slay him. Managed to steal a griffin. 
So that's nice, I guess. Um, so here we can shoot with this. We can, like, shoot the angels with their own griffin, which is nice. Looks like we're not going to get to see what was on that roof. So we can lock on and kind of launch a... Launch a kind of missile at them. But obviously that increases our risk of getting shot by the others while we're, tra while we're charging that up. I have to admit, it's not the best weapon to try and use. Even with a controller. It's very, um, I don't know, overly se over sensitive. Oh, I can move the, I can move the griffin up and down as well. I didn't know that. That would probably help quite a bit so we can avoid some attacks. Wee wee, there's uh, zombies down below too. Oh. Alright, I think those home in on me as well, so we need to be careful with that. We want to hit him with those if we can, just because it kills him quicker, I suppose. Difficult fight, though. Oh, is he dead? No, that was a different monster. Whoops. That's a different monster. The epic battle music continues. That you can probably barely hear. I should put the music up and turn the other noises down. These things are a bit of a pain in the arse. And there's that guy with his bloody missile thing again. can destroy most of those by locking onto them, which is nice. We can shoot two uh, things at them. We can also hit the, um, the projectiles. Ouch. I didn't want to go that way. I think we defeated them, just. I'm not sure really where we're going here. But we can lock on to like every one of these ones to attack them with the thing. Which is nice. They fly away as soon as they're uh, defeated it looks like. You've got the longest jaunt, you don't care too much for, for the game music, no worries. That's absolutely fine. Whee! Have we finished fighting these monsters yet? Now we've got other things to fight against. Those aren't angels anymore, those are... weird demonic creatures. Oh, he's fighting some angels. The stone guy's fighting some angels, which is nice. He's helping me. I don't know if they're supposed to be more like, kind of, Valkyrie sort of things, maybe. But that doesn't necessarily really fit the, uh... Are these bats? I can take bats, that's not a problem. I forgot that there was a flying sequence in this game. Remember, we can lock onto multiple enemies at once. Sometimes it's worth doing that just to get rid of them faster. Just to get rid of them a bit more quickly, really. We started fighting angels, now we're fighting demons and we're in a pit of fire. I don't even know which way we're supposed to be going here. There's no map really to give us any, any clues. See like that, so the thing on the screen, the little, uh, the little cross here, 
I was like halfway off the screen when I was firing that before. Seems like we can fire as many of those as we want, though. Oops, I took a hit from that, which I didn't really want to do. But I couldn't really stop it there, apparently. Not every time I move out the way, I get hit by the thing again. hit by that and I wasn't even close enough to it to be hit by that I don't think see I got I got hit by that and I'm not even sure I should have we start our last waypoint what's the last waypoint it is just before this battle I think oh no it's the whole bloody sequence all right fine so we have to deal with all of that again and lock on to these enemies because that tends to be a bit better to be honest what we need to do is wait till the last minute to get out of his way even that didn't really work out and I, I was stuck on the right hand side of the screen there so that was a bad move that seems to work a bit better just moving around a bit more which we weren't doing before to be fair now I am making a bit, taking a bit more of an advantage out of moving away because we took a lot of hits from that last time. In fact, we're still taking a few now. There it goes. It's dead, I think. At last, I don't know if that's the end of this whole sequence, but that thing's gone at least. I think these are just like inconsequential little enemies that fly around. We're in a cave now, can we land in the cave? No. Oh mind you, maybe this is what gets us to the place we're trying to get to, remember? We had to get to the place that we can't walk to because it's all, I don't know, full of fire or something. That's what he said, wasn't it? We couldn't we couldn't go there because the ground was I don't know, damaged or something. Get rid of these enemies. Just more and more of these bloody fiery birds. I thought they were bats at first, I'm not sure what they are really. Demons of some kind. And no sooner have we got rid of one than another one comes. The good news is some of these are giving us health when we kill them though. Oh shit, look. That thing's here. Well, that's a different demon. It's a different monster that attacked me. Oh, is this Tiamat? The Queen of uh, Bats that we're supposed to fight against. This is the Twilight Cathedral. I think this is, uh, she's busy fighting that thing at the moment, but I think that's Tiamat. Hey, Elzasto, how you doing? Lovely to see you. Hope you're having a good night. How you getting on? Get rid of these bats. I love that picture, by the way. I was looking the other day when you put that up, uh, the picture with those glasses. Um, it reminded me of um, the game Psychonauts, if you've seen it. The guy with his goggles. It's not too bad. I, uh, I, uh, I really like this game. I haven't played it in quite a while, and I haven't streamed it at all. So, you know, I thought it's about time. It's about time I streamed this. I think it's way over there. But, yeah, I'm enjoying it. It's a game that I'm used to, so it's so it's it's nice and easy, you know. <laughs> I like I like the first like I like the first Darksiders and the second one they're not too bad, but like the I didn't like the third one very much. Yeah, yeah, it's I do. I mean, I I always think it's it's a really 
it's a really really good 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 game you know um even even with the age of it it's still like really really good or we can maybe buy some stuff off this wee guy here i suppose that's the good thing you know it's been out for a while so <laughs> so it should be pretty well uh Let me know if I can help you. working pretty well which is the good thing but yeah i've always loved this game i just think it's a really uh really really good game <laughs> Uh, what am I going to do here? I'm going to get that, actually. Increased knowledge and weaponry is a good idea. And... Uh, don't, well, I could regenerate all my health, but I feel like that's a bit of a waste of... Uh, a bit, bit of a waste of souls. Let's take some of these powers. Just while we're here. But no, it was good to get into something a bit more like this, you know? Bit more sort of action and uh, and stuff. Because I've been playing a lot of puzzle games lately, so it's it's good to play something slightly different. <laughs> Aye, a lot of the games. I have to admit, the majority of the games that I've probably got are all games that have been out for a while and uh, games that I've maybe finished before but haven't streamed. So I'll probably like jump on with a lot of them. I'll probably jump on with a lot of older games over over time, I would imagine, you know? Grab that sword. An elaborate crystal blade. I have to stick that on one of the statues, I think. No? Can't remember what we do with that. But that's it, you know, they really do. Especially with, with some of the games now, you know, I think it's... It's almost a shame... That there are so many games now that where things just aren't really finished. You know, and, and I think what's great, obviously, with playing older games is they're finished. And they generally, they generally work as well, so. Which is what's good. Yeah. Now we got this giant bat monster to fight at some point. Although that griffin's not doing too badly. You love the idea of having armor and sword like that at the same time. Guarantee you'd end up being daft enough to slice yourself in two. Yeah. <laughs> Excuse me. I'm not quite got over that cough yet. I know what you mean. Now I wouldn't be able to do that. I remember um, one Christmas. I don't know why he bought it for me. It was a weird thing to buy. My brother bought me a um, a flail. It's like it's like a like a thing with like the two spiky balls on the end. And the first time I swung it, just as a bit of fun, the first time I swung it, I bounced it off my bedroom door and it smacked me in the hand. <laughs> it's quite nasty, left a nice bruise. But yeah, I, I know the I know the feeling, you know. It seems like a cool thing to do and then you kinda <laughs> you think about it a bit more, you know. You think about it a bit longer and you're like, no, that's probably not a good idea. <laughs> The bats just helped me beat them. Oh yeah, we can't go through that door until we've got whatever that needs. Probably another sword. Oh. Unless something kicks the door down. <laughs> I think that's just them fighting. There's a bat up there, look. Yeah, I think we're just hearing those two things fighting. Does this do anything? Bat comes, though. The bat comes. But no, good to see you. Hope you're having a good night. I've been, uh, look, I've actually, do you know, I've been looking forward to playing this game on stream. Ah, <laughs> oh, there we go. <gasps> What's this? What be this? I don't know. I was saying as well recently, I've, I've signed, I've, I've managed, I, I applied for that um, GTA RP server as well, so... At some point I'll try and, try and do that on a stream maybe if I, uh... Once I get used to it, you know. In real life, health regeneration is faster. That's true. Aye, that's true. I've noticed for yourself. Yeah, it's become. Because I know. I mean, you were you you like a lot of the sort of souls, like the sort of souls games and stuff, don't they? Don't you? I've never really got into those games. I don't know why. I always find them just a little bit too annoying. Too di not annoying. That's not true. Difficult, I suppose. But yeah, we'll see how it goes. I, I'm not. Uh, I'm not going to say much. I can't say much yet, obviously. I don't know what 
I kind of have an idea what I'm doing with my character, but it's still uh, up in the air a bit, you know. My first thing that I was kind of not sh too sure about was whether I just stick with my own voice or like do a do a voice for the character. Just until I get used to it, but I think I'll probably do like an accent for him. Nice to have that relax that rela that kind of relaxing night though, isn't it? How's uh especially if you've had a long day at work or something like that. I have a quite a short day at work today, but you know, when you've had a long day at work, it, it feels like what you want to do is kind of sit. But I don't know, some nights I feel like I just want to kind of get on and play a game, you know. Depends, I suppose, if you have to take your frustration out on something. <laughs> on Dead by Daylight, you can take it out on, uh, on any survivors, I suppose. Or the killers. <laughs> there we go, we got that open. I. Yeah, I'm the same, you know. I mean, I, I'm working... I, I suppose I'm kind of lucky in that my, my job's kind of working from home, you know. So, I'm just at home the whole time, really. Um, so it's not so bad. But even that can be... Grab and throw a sticky bomb onto objects before it detonates, yeah. So we can do this. And throw it there. And it goes... Bang! And smashes that down. There we are. That's how that works. <laughs> but yeah, it's um, it is one of those things, you know. You, you finish the day's work and you're just like, oh, can I be bothered? <laughs> and some nights it's just not. Some nights it's just not worth bothering. <laughs> but I always like to get on and do a stream. Ooh, restore some wrath. It is the one thing I do tend to look forward to. I'm getting on with the Christmas ornaments. Good stuff. Lovely stuff. I'd love to do... Uh, I'm thinking at some point I'm going to get a... Streaming in general, uh, boo, 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 boo. I actually started streaming in like 2018. I think it was 2018, actually. Let me double check. Because I've had a, I've had a, um, I've had a channel on YouTube. I, I kind of, my YouTube's pretty much just for storing all my, um, all my VODs, really, to be honest, you know. Um, and if I look, I can find out when my first, when my first upload was. Um, give me my content, please. I can tell you exactly when my first upload was. Let's let's organize that just now. Um, fuck's sake, there it is. Yeah, twenty eighteen, July in twenty eighteen. Um, my first my first stream, I played like Diablo. Uh, that's right because I got a I got a kind of gaming computer for my birthday. I convinced my dad to to buy that to buy a gaming computer for my birthday. And, uh, yeah, so 2018, so what, four years? I started off, when I started streaming, I started on Mixer. Um, which I thought was alright at the time, and the main reason I did was because uh, initially I hadn't had my computer quite set up for it, but I could stream from the Xbox uh, on Mixer. And then when that went down, I came over to Twitch, and actually I think Twitch has been a lot better for me, I've found, uh, since doing that. Um... But yeah, I've really liked I've really liked Twitch for all that sort of time. I think actually, if I remember rightly, I think the first game I streamed well, it was Diablo three, I think. Um, but I also streamed the the second Darksiders game. Uh, I think I can drop down that hole. Yeah, Whee! smash that down. But yeah, I've always looked at it just as a bit of a laugh, you know, something just to something I kind of enjoy to do to kind of pass the time and I like I like to have a chat with, uh, with people sometimes as well if I, if I can you know oh.
And I've got some some neat, some other ideas as well with stuff I'm going to do. I've decided to um, get in a tray to go underneath my drawer so that I can put the ca the keyboard under the de underneath the desk, so that maybe I can uh, so that maybe I can do some like I don't know building Lego or like puzzle things or random stuff like that at some point. But I guess we'll see with that. I do like just playing games as well, though, you know. <laughs> oh, there's two skeletons. Is he dead? Nope. Shooting for almost two years as of the 25th. Yeah, that's it, you know. It's, it's, it's weird, isn't it? It's a strange sort of experience. Um... It is a re really strange sort of situation all round, you know. Um, it feels really odd. I think the great thing with with Twitch, at least, has been, you know, uh, finding a good group of people to kind of. Uh, that's supposed to kind of to kind of share the kind of experience with, in a way. I suppose is one way to look at it, you know. And having a bit of a sort of community kind of spirit with everybody, I think. The worst thing for me, though, is I always find it difficult to, like... You know, I always find it difficult to, like, say to people, Hey, do you want to play this? Or do you want to do that? It's just me as a person. I think I find that... I always find I don't want to... I don't want to feel like I'm kind of... Intruding on something, you know what I mean? <laughs> Which is a weird sort of way... It's probably a weird sort of way to think sometimes, you know, but... Oh, we've got another one of those keys. What's that? It's a blade. Oh no, it's a crystal. I don't actually have... No, but I, I, th I suppose that's it, you know, you, you, you become... It's not so much a, a character, but I suppose it's more the case of, you know, when you're streaming, you kind of have to... There has to be some kind of involvement, doesn't there? There has to be a lot more than just... Like, every time... I mean... I know it's been said by a few people in the past, but I always find... You know, if you look at someone... If you look at a stream when someone's playing, like... I don't know, it's not necessarily anything against the kind of... Um, the kind of Call of Duty sort of streamers, but... I see people playing, like, Call of Duty on stream, and it's always that thing. And I tell you, it comes... and. I kind of had that opinion before, but I think it was kind of almost validated by, like, you know, like Lumi mentioning about not liking things where people just kind of play, you know, play the game and don't even look at chat. I've never really been into those kinds of streams, I found, so it was always quite good to see people enjoying the game. But also having a good having a good chat and a good laugh while they're doing it, you know, as well. Uh, okay, we got another artifact that we can return to Vulgrim. Am I supposed to be down here or not? I feel like going down here was pointless. Unless that was all I was going down here for. I'm just gonna go back to here again for a minute. Like otherwise this door seems kind of totally pointless. But yeah, I definitely prefer to like to say something when I'm playing a game, you know. <laughs> there is nothing down here. What was the point of that then? There is no look, there's a door there. That door there should be openable at some point. I don't know. I feel like that blade is supposed to open a door. Let's go back and see if we can find that. That's it, you know, some people like that and maybe they just like it as a bit of background or... But yeah, you know, I always prefer the ones... Like, I guess I guess there are there are people who play these games that do have a bit of back and forth, you know, with the chat and I've maybe just not noticed them as much, but... I definitely prefer something where, where there's some engagement, I think. There's another one of these guys. Oh.
But that's it, you know, you can. There are probably streams like that where people where people are playing those sorts of things, but also... I don't know, I always find it interesting, you know, because... I feel like everybody I've watched who plays, like, Dead by Daylight, you know, gen generally, everyone who I watch that plays sort of Dead by Daylight tends to be quite similar, and they do chat quite a lot. But then I see a lot of people who don't, who are like, how do you manage to do it, do it, and not and focus on the game? And maybe that's the problem. Maybe maybe I'm not really focusing on the game. <laughs> There's nothing. I can't get back either. I can't get back either. We got this. We got that thing from in here. There must be a way back up, because we can't get that door open just now. <laughs> Thank you very much. Uh, that, that's kind of my, my... the thing I kind of like more than anything else, you know, is that... is that it... hopefully it feels like a place where people can kind of... can kind of relax. Why do they keep respawning? People can kind of have a relaxed sort of chilled out sort of uh, stream, I suppose, you know? I'm trying to work out. Oh, there is there's a thing to climb across up there. I just didn't see it. But thank you very much. It's always good to hear. I just completely forgot that I went across there. All right. Another skeleton to fight. I think I knocked him down the hole. Smash him up. Don't know quite. I guess we have to go back then, because there was nothing else there, really. We came through that floor. Maybe I wasn't supposed to drop down the hole so much. Oh yeah, there's that thing that we have to open with the blade. Okay. Now I know what we're doing. That was a bit surprising that I sent that that way. I didn't expect that. There we go. Oh. But yeah, I was worried actually, you know, playing this game, I was worried that this would be the kind of game where it's where it's a bit more difficult to kind of chat while you're playing it, but I mean, I think there's probably moments where you have to kind of focus a bit more on what's happening in the game, you know, but for the most part, it's not too bad. I think the worst thing for me about playing any, like, um, first-person shooter sort of games would be, uh, that would probably just be raging the whole time. <laughs> Maybe not, but I just feel like it's... Uh, ...doesn't fit. But it's good to have a game to play outside of uh, stream, maybe, I suppose. Well, that... Uh, apparently that didn't hurt him. He said it was pitiful. We'll ignore the fact that he keeps missing. Yeah, I think it's... It's one of those things, isn't it, where you don't really know how it's going to go until you do it, really. And I've watched, you know, when I think I've watched people play games that you would never think would be very interesting to watch, but... They obviously make it, they obviously make it quite interesting to watch as well, you know? There we go. We cleared the, the weird Devil May Cry wall. <laughs> now we can go and collect the sword and uh, get that one of those doors open in the other place. I think that's it. You know, the thing I, I mean, the thing I find, I mean, I, I maybe don't do it as much as anybody, but it's always trying to find breaks to like do things, you know. Like if I want, like, I don't know, watch a video on YouTube or something like that. I feel like it's better when those sorts of things aren't planned. Yeah. 
over here. Well, I guess this is the door we're going through then. You sure this is the right door, mate? Oh yeah, so it is. Well done. Good job. He's useful for something, this guy at least. Oh, bats. Oh, I couldn't quite make it to the other one to grab onto him. There we go. Pop the sword in the hands. And they snap shut quite happily. Aye. <laughs> it does. It does. <laughs> What's that? Look, they're still fighting. I don't know how this griffin survived so long against this giant bat. But he's doing alright, huh? He's doing alright for himself. Right, so we've got one of those. They are. They're like really tearing each other apart. Oh, fuck, what's that? The fuck is that? It's like one of those things in uh, Half-Life. That's what we have to throw the exploding thing at. It's like a giant version of one of those things out of Half-Life. Look at that. Fucking splatter. <laughs> oh, shite. <laughs> <laughs> I should have known it wasn't going to be that easy. I think we have to like smash up his armor. I've got other attacks, I can't even remember how to use them. Let's do it, come on. Whoops. So I quite like this because the there's some difficulty in the fights, but it's not like uh, it's not Dark Souls difficulty. <laughs> Just avoided that at the right time. Get rid of this guy. Shot him to bits. There, he's dead, okay. I managed to grab out of that launch. I think the enemy launched me in the air and I managed to hit B to kill him instead. Which was good. And there we go. I think that's it. What did that do? Oh, I can put the sword in that statue's hands now. What the hell's that noise? They've disappeared. They're probably in the next room. Every room we go to, they're just waiting. To show off their fighting skills. I think the I think the bat thing has um has like grapple points on its back or something. I think we can climb up it, I'm not totally sure. Can't go that way. Which door did I come in through? Well that thing's back, look. From outer space. Did I drop in from there? No. Oh, it looks like we could throw an exploding thing in there, but I don't... I don't think I can do it yet. I think we have to be able to grab it. I think there's a weapon we can use to, like, grapple this from a distance. Because I don't think... Oh, maybe we can. Ah, fuck. We probably can throw that there, we just need to be a bit quicker. Just need to get the right angle on it. There we go. Nice. Is that like a hole in the wall? Oh, it's just a chest. Well, it's better than uh, better than nothing, I suppose. Oh, even better. It's one of those ones to increase our health. Wait. All that time I'm throwing the thing through the window, through the gap in the wall, there was a door there. Um, where are we going? Up there? I don't think we came through this door. Yeah, we didn't, because the room's grey on the other side, so... So what's next? Gliding thing. I don't think we make it across there just yet. Wee. Oh, there's one of those things over there. 
I think we have to use this to get that, because I don't think we can get that without using this thing. There we go. Well, we got the champion artifact, which will give us a few more, uh, few more souls to play with. I'm going to go and see what's over here. If I can. Oh, no, I can't. Okay, that's a mistake. <laughs> that's a mistake. Whoops. Whoops. Well, that's gone, so we don't need to worry about that anymore. Okay, so maybe we can get there from the other side somewhere. Is there a doorway here? Oh, there's this. Climb up and over. Do, 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 do. Whee! That was easy enough. I'm saying I'm looking forward to I've got... Um, managed to book myself about a week of holidays before Christmas. I was saying earlier, I'm not used to... They don't stand a chance, that's true. We can get them. I'm looking forward to my holidays in December for the first time in like 10 years. <laughs> but no worries, thank you very much, Elzasto. Enjoy your lurk. Uh, I guess we want to go up there. So what are we doing? We need to smash up all these guys. Get them all smashed up. Pop. Pop. Pop and pop. There we go. Very nice. I feel like... We've been here already though. Let me just check. Or maybe not. So what's over this way? There's one of those bloody things over here. And I don't have any way to get rid of it, so it would just end up eating me if I'm not careful. Grabbing me from the ceiling. Some nasty fleshy pods in this room. Alright, pal. Let's get rid of him. There we go. So we've got an explodey thing. It's uh, what I would call it. Blow that thing up. That drops the statue's head. And gives us a hole in the floor. Do 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 do. That's the music that tells us that we just uh, got rid of a secret. Do 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 do. Wait, what's that? Lots of something moving about down there. We just jump down the hole. Whee! Were we in here? Oh yeah, we were in here at the start, yeah. I remember now. So what's next? There was a guy running away down there. Maybe we're supposed to follow him. Running away, are you? He was going to get his pals, Luke. He was going to get his his, uh, his brothers. He was going to go and get his big brother and his pals. He was too scared to fight us on his own. Oops. You leave my brother alone! Monster! There we go, we got rid of them. Moving on. Down here. There's a floaty chained platform. We don't want to unleash that from its bonds. Or do we? Healy stuff. Good. Healy souls. Uh, we can't go down there because uh, there's lava down there. And the souls of Healy shoes. Oh, smash it up. Smash it up. And then it spins. And oh, look, we've got a thing we can throw. A glaive thing. 
think it I think it's called that. There you go, look. Very nice. Crossblade, sorry. What am I thinking of? I'm thinking of from the film. Was it um one sec. I want to say I want to say crawl, but I'm not hundred percent sure. Uh, is it that? Or is it... Yes, it is. Yes. Here you go, right, I'll show you this. You may have seen the film, but... Uh, slightly different from clips of Kimi Raikkonen yesterday. Right, so he's got this, he's got this weapon. Let me maximise that window. The glaive. It's like a thing that he like chucks through the air. See, it's 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 a bunch of blades. It's very well. Uh, it's very well animated, as you can see. It's got a mind of its own. This weapon. How do you catch that without tearing your hand to pieces? How do you catch that without it cutting your fingers? It's just all blades all round. He caught it by a blade. There's not one of those... I don't think there's one of those blades on that weapon that's... That's that's not a blade. I might be wrong. Nope, they're all blades. So he's caught that blade out of the air in his hand. That's some skill. That's some skill. He doesn't have to do anything either. He just throws the weapon and it like kills all the enemies for him. He doesn't have to do a thing. He's just... Uh, you can just trust the weapon to do everything he needs it to do. Or something like that. Right, what are we doing here? So what did we do? We smashed up that thing that got us a weapon. Whoops. I think we can... Uh, oh. oh yeah, there we go. We can, we can aim at them and throw it. Unfortunately, we do need to aim this weapon and make it do stuff. Oh. So the problem is we can't... Uh, I don't think we can fight these fiery birds without... Uh, without the weapon. Well, there we go, we got it. I think they're both dead. Is that it? Oh no, there's more. Of course there are. There's always going to be more, aren't there? Always more. Is that it? Did they, did they die as well? No, there's another one. Go away! Oh, leave me alone! It caught itself before it fell in the lava, look. So weird, a, a lava bird dies when it falls in the lava. Alright, oh, right, bud. How's it going, boys? So now we've got, like, three weapons we can use. Watch sure you don't fall off there into the lava because of the... The enemy. Imagine we accidentally pushed ourselves off the edge after killing the, the monster. So now it's skeletons. They're all dead. What's next? A weird uh, one-eyed pus sack. I don't know. Is that what we're calling it? So we can charge this weapon up. And then do that. And it slices away at him for a wee while. Which is nice. We can just stay the hell away from it. Come on then. Bring it. Oh no, sorry. Too close. Too close. Can't let you get too close, you see. There you go. Stay away from his poisonous attacks. That's it. Come closer. There you go. 
Actually, I think we could probably attack it with other stuff while it's uh, being hit by that. Probably not while it's covered in poison, though. I don't know, actually, if we can, like, do a full attack against him if, we're, if we've launched that at him. We can. And the good thing with that is, it pretty much, he can't do anything to stop it. Well, that was nice. Doesn't seem to be doing much to him, though. Well, there it is. Okay, he's dead. We've got to watch that he doesn't, like, explode with poison. Oh, Jesus. He's, like, spewing poison out of his, he out of his head. Where his head used to be. Is that it? There we go, Luke. Now this is moving. I'm guessing we have to hit this with the thing. Well, that's not close enough. Yeah, there you go. That was an easy thing to guess, really, wasn't it? Do 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 do. That's how we know we're doing well. No, no. Oh, no, no, no. I wanted to launch that so that it would stick on that one. Kill it, kill it. Kill it. Maybe we can just do that with that one as well. I thought because it was on fire it wouldn't, uh, it wouldn't let me grab onto it. What's this do? Do I need to hold it? Maybe I need to hold the button for this? Nope, it's chained down by something. How can I get... Oh, I think I can hit this with that and then it blows up. There you go, see? And that should now let me lift this. No, no, it's still caught by something else. So we'll have to jump up on here. Oops, almost got stuck. Here it comes. I don't even know if I need to charge it up. I could have probably done it without charging it up, to be fair. Take our wee aim off. Hopefully that's all it needs. There it goes. There he goes. The wee statue can come up out of his fiery prison now. Surprised that's lasted as long as well as it did against lava, to be fair. And that opens that one for us. It's an interesting mechanism for a door there. Do, 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 do. And again. So I'm guessing we have to find whatever it is that opens that uh, beholder key thing. Um, try this. That gives us a path. So that's the plan there. Give us a path. Um... Imbue Crossblade. We can absorb arcane energy from certain targets. Press RS to aim and throw the blade with RT at an energy source. Tagging multiple targets will transfer en energy from the source to all targets. So I guess we want to... Right, let's just see. No, I think I need to put it through the... Um... I think I need to put it through the flames... Do I need to get an angle where I can do it? I think. Wait, it doesn't... I don't... What... What did that say? <laughs> you should bounce it from one thing to the other. I didn't see what is how it said to do that. Does it tell me again? I think I've lost the thing telling me how to do that. Um, trying to see if there's somewhere where it'll show me the tutorial it gave me again. Tips. Um, aim, throw. Summoning the Watcher. Where is it? Oh, here we go. Imbue Crossblade. Let's read that again because I've obviously messed it up. Um... Press RS to aim and throw a blade with RT at an energy source. Tagging multiple targets will transfer... Yeah, but I tried... What? I tried that. Maybe I can... Oh. 
How do I tag multiple targets? Do I press a button? Oh, here we go. That's what it is. And then let's launch it. There we go. That's how you do it. Hadn't quite worked out. Well, I did read them. I just um, completely misunderstood them, apparently. Because it didn't say, like, you're supposed to. So when I was doing it, you have to press the A button to select them. It didn't say that. It just said hold the one button and... <laughs> That's my excuse and I'm, I'm sticking to it. <laughs> oh look. It's a room full of statues. Whee! It looks like we need three swords. Potentially. There was a chest down there, I think. Let's go back down there a second. Yeah, there is. There's only a health one, mind you. We'll use it anyway, see if we can fill up. Fill ourselves up. There we go. That's good enough for me. There's a gate that can be opened there with, like, a chain thing. I mean, I guess... That this is what we do. I guess that's why they call it... The Blues... Hmm. What does that do? What does that do? Let's see, right? So you have to press the left, sorry, the left uh, trigger button to do that. Oh, it's just so we can slide down. That's all. Just so we can slide down the thing. Is that a monster down there? No, it's a chain that we can use to do something. Oh well, no, it's not. It's a closed door that we can't get through. Oh, look. Wait. I think we need to, like... can't hit that from here. We can't hit that from here. We need to... I guess we need to raise a platform that I can use to hit both of those things. Ah, okay, there we go. Bloody bats as well. Uh. Yeah, you get lost, bat. I don't want you here, bat. It's gone. So I think... I mean, I assume we want to hit both of these. Not close enough to do it with that one. Okay. Maybe from here? But then I'm not sure we can hit the other one. No. I mean, from here maybe I can, but... I can't see the other one to hit it. So what happens if we hit that one? Oh wait, then we can do this. That should do it, right? Oh shit! This was coming down as if it was going into the lava. Ouch. Come on then. Oops. I think we got it. And what do we want with this? Oh no, we didn't. Look, they're there. They're there. Um, okay, go over there. I could have grabbed it and done the action, but I think that probably would have got me uh, dropped in the lava, to be honest. Oh, there's another one here, look. Whoops, get back up on there. It's difficult, because if I grab them, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to fall off the platform. See what I mean? I'm now going to fall to my death. Oh no, I'm not. Okay, good. Throw it at that thing. Hit that thing. Right, go on. Get it again. Get him again. He'll fall in the lava this time. No, he didn't. Fall in the lava. I think the top of that uh, platform's stopping it from falling in the lava. 
That should kill it, though. Right, now we, now we hit this. The thing is, it moves all the platforms up and down. Oh, there we go. Now we've got this. I was going to say, it moves all the platforms up and down, so you don't know if the one you're on is about to drop into the lava or not. Right, so we'll throw that there. And then there's also a red thing on this side, I think, too. So we'll throw that there, too. Oh, I bet you there's two more of these. Oh, well, that's... Oh, that's a way across there. So, and there's a climbable area there. We can't get across to there from here, I don't think. So I guess we have to go that way. So that we can get over to the other side. Looks like. It looks like. Oh yeah, we got the wire. And this gets us through the gate. Cool. And there's a sword. Uh, can I just drop down off here instead of messing about with climbing? Yeah. There you go, there's the wee sword. I say wee sword, it's about the size of him, but for his purposes I suppose it's only a small sword. Okay, I can't go up there. Can I go back? No, that was bad. Okay, oh wait, wait now we can do this. There you go. Open it up. Gives us a platform. And a way out. So, what's up there? I guess maybe we were just supposed to use that to get back down, maybe? I don't know. Possibly. Okay, now what? Now what? What did that do for me? It got me this, and then we need to get to the room. We need to get back up there, don't we? I'm not sure how we get back up there. I don't think we can get over there. Mm -hmm. I can't climb back up the rope because it's at an angle that won't let me climb up it. Is there something on the other side of the air that we can do that? Oh shit! <laughs> Almost fell in the lava. There's nothing I can do over there. Doesn't look to be anyway. Oh, I, can't, I now can't go across that anyway because of the gate. Okay. Hmm. So definitely nothing at the top of this. Like, I don't know how to get over to that other side. And I don't really know... How to get out of here. Oh wait, that needs, that needs, that needs hit again. Oh shit. What does that do for me? Alright, and now that one's down. I mean, I guess we want to move these... Oh yeah, that's what we want, because then we can get across onto this platform uh, and get the stuff in here. I don't know if this is our way out or not. Ah, here we go. What does that do for me? That gives us some more platforms raised a little higher. Looks like maybe that gets us over to there, actually. Yeah, there we go. Nice and easy. That's it. For this room? What's that? Don't know. Doesn't look like something we can we can interact with anyway. No, I thought it was for a minute, but no, I think I'm okay now. So I assume we've got to give the sword to one of these. Or just any of them, maybe. But it looks like we're gonna need three swords. So the next one, okay, we can't open that just yet. So it must be this door over here. Yeah, I got unstuck now. I just uh, I just had to work out which things I needed to hit. <laughs> Look at this. Look at that horrible sight. A burning mouth full of fire. 
I need to go to the toilet. I'll be back in a sec. I'll be back in a couple of minutes. Hello, I'm back. Oh yeah, I went out of the screen, so because of that, the game disappeared. It's back now, though, so we're fine. We've got some artifacts. Look, we got a champion artifact. Ooh, how exciting! I was just thinking, actually. You know, I was in the I was in the living room and I and I, I grabbed some chocolate uh, to eat. Not a lot of it, just a few a few chocolates. 
Are we double deck there? And some dairy milks and stuff. For some reason I can't open it, so that's nice. And it was it was making me remember that I'd seen people recently doing these tier list things of chocolates. And so I was just thinking that maybe we'll take a brief break from the game and have a look at that. Just for fun. And see um see how I grade these chocolates. I don't like the fact that this is uh I dark like that, so there we go. Yeah. Well I'm gonna I'm probably gonna make that feeling worse just now. I'm gonna grade all these chocolates from best to worst. With the grades being god tier, proper good, solid, could take it or leave it. Eh. A bit shit and no chance. So we're starting with the arrow. The classic chocolate arrow. Let me just swallow this, which I would say is relatively solid. It's a nice soft sort of uh, bite, isn't it? I think it's a solid bar of chocolate. The Aero Mint. I'm not a big fan of mint chocolate. So I put that just below that. I could take it or leave it, but I'm not a big fan of it. That said, when I say I'm not a big fan of mint chocolate, I do like the old After 8s think that they are what you would call proper good. I'm going to put some music on in the background while we do this. Uh, let me just pop across here. Just as a wee break from the game for a short time. Uh, let's put on some... Let's put on this. And let's have a look at that. So yeah, so I would say that the uh, After 8 is probably... It's probably, I would say it's better than the Aero Mint. A boost, I'm not a big fan of the boost. I put that there. The Bounty. Now this, now this is probably, well, this can be a controversial one to some people. And on the other side, it could be one that people like a lot. Not a chance. And it's because I don't like coconut. Like, I really don't like coconut. And from what I understand, the coconut in a Bounty is, is worse than regular coconut, so... You know, there's that too. Uh, Bourneville. Now, I have to admit, I do like a dark chocolate. I do like a dark chocolate. But I've never liked the Bourneville chocolate. Never, ever liked the Bourneville chocolate. Dairy Milk Giant Buttons. I mean, they go right to the top, without a doubt. I've always liked buttons for a very long time. Uh, the mini snowballs are also very good, but not quite not quite on the level of the dairy milk giant buttons. A caramac. Eh, uh, maybe about there. Maybe about there. Yeah. I'll always find, you know, if I've got um if I've got like one of those tubs of um not heroes, what's the other one? I've forgotten what they call them. But the one that's got the bounties and the Mars stuff in it, celebrations. Um, the, the guaranteed, the tub will be filled with bounties at the end. M and M's. Now, this could be a controversial opinion, right? But the chocolate M and M's are a bit shit. I'm sorry to say, but I just don't like the taste of the chocolate in the chocolate M and M's. A chomp goes right up there to proper good, because I do like a bit of caramel. Cream egg. I mean, for me, for me, the cream egg goes right to the top. But that said, right, a fresh cream egg where the where the cream in the middle is nice and not complete, not totally runny, but it's nice and smooth, right, is very good. If the cream egg's been left for a while and it's not so fresh and the stuff's kind of hard in the middle, it's kind of not that great. So I'm going to put it in solid not god tier it's god tier when it's right but when it's been left for a while and it's a bit dry inside they're pretty crap so i'm putting it in solid simply because most of the time they're good uh crispy m ms are better than the chocolate ones without a doubt um i'd probably say i'd take it or leave it you know i'm not 
I don't love them, but they're definitely better than the chocolate ones. I prefer the peanut ones of all of them. Uh, a crunchy... I don't mind a crunchy, but I don't love it, so pop it there. The Nestle Crunch Bar. Ooh, proper good, right? Properly good. A Curly Whirly goes right up there too. The Dime Bar. I, 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 I do like a dime. I do like a dime. And they go into God tier because I like them that much. Yeah, they can be very sweet as well, which is a bit of an issue too. Uh, the Caramel Dairy Milk goes up here. Is that... I can't quite read what that is. Is that the... Um, wait a minute. Is that the fruit and nut dairy milk? Oh, I love the dime. I think it's I think it's great. I think that's the the no, it's not. Is that the one with like bits of I can't remember. Eh. The standard dairy milk I probably prefer over that one. Dairy milk medley, what's that? Eh. A lot of these I'm going to keep in the middle. Dairy milk with Oreo. Controversial opinion perhaps, but I'm not the biggest fan of Oreo. And there's a mint dairy milk with Oreo, which sounds even worse. So sorry. Dairy milk, is that like a Turkish delight dairy milk? Is, eh. Because I can't read what half of these are. Dairy milk... something? Maybe there. A double decker. No, I haven't tried a lot of them myself. A double decker, I do like a double decker. I do like a double decker. A dream bar. I have a, I have a problem with, with white chocolate in general. Hmm. Yeah. White chocolate I don't like. I just really don't like it. That thing about the teeth, you know? That thing about the teeth. White chocolate's really nasty on the teeth. The Ferrero Rocher. That goes into the proper good tier. It's that, it's, that, it's that nutty kind of goodness, isn't it? My gran used to love those. Like, she'd get them every Christmas. And then we'd end up probably eating half of them, you know? Uh, the flake. Now, here's what I would say about the flake. On taste, the flake goes to the top. On taste, the flake goes to the top. But the problem with a flake, as everyone knows, is you open the flake and you lose half, half of it on the floor. Right? You lose half of it on the floor. So simply based on the fact that you won't like you won't get to eat the whole thing. <laughs> it goes in the solid tier because it tastes fantastic, but as you say, it's a fucking nightmare to eat one. Uh, what is this flake? Has that got coconut in it? Or what? I don't know what that is. I've never seen that before. Let's put that in there because I'm not sure what it is. Red O. Well, your Freddos go into the solid tier, both of them. And the fudge goes up there too, I think. Is that a white flake? That's what I'm not sure about. It's got darker, it's got like reg normal chocolate in the middle, but maybe, or on the outside, but maybe it's got like white chocolate. What is that? I want to know what that is. Is that a white flake? I've got white flakes in here. Oh yeah, there it is. It's a snowflake. Right, look, so the picture of that is sort of normal chocolate on the outside. It is. It's normal chocolate on the outside and white chocolate on the inside. So what is that monstrosity? That's a flake caramilk. I bet that's horrible. So what's this? This is the Galaxy Smooth Caramel. Pop that up there. The Galaxy Cookie Crumble. Eh. This is essentially a twirl. Yeah, maybe. I don't know what the blue galaxy is. And the regular galaxy chocolate. I don't know if a lot of people would agree, um, but I think the galaxy chocolate is probably a little better than the Cadbury's. Minstrels go up there. <laughs> and a ripple goes in the solid box, I would say. Twirls or flakes with chocolate in. Yeah, yeah, that's true. That's true. So I wonder if... I wonder if they've done that, because maybe the white chocolate crumbles more. Like, maybe the the white chocolate's even worse. I 
I'm not sure which galaxy that is, but I'll put it there with the others. What's that? What is that? Is that like a Starbucks milk chocolate bar? What do you mean? I don't like... My problem is I don't like coconut at all. So for me, for me, the bounty's on the bottom. I know that might... I know that might... Uh, I know some people might not agree with me on that. And a lot of people might not agree with me on that. But I've, I've never... I've never done well with coconut. <laughs> and welcome in. <laughs> That's fine. Bring it on. Now. <laughs> the Hershey's uh, cookies and cream I like. I do like the Hershey's cookies and cream. But regular Hershey's, Hershey's chocolate goes in there. In the a bit shit tier, I'm afraid. And so do the Hershey's kisses. I can't catch it. Oh, I'm, here's... See, now here's the problem. Because here's another one that nobody's going to like. I could take or leave a Kit Kat. Like, I feel like that's a that's a, a cookies and cream one. And that's like a kind of dark chocolate one. I would say the, the regular chunky Kit Kat's not bad. I would say you could put that in the solid tier. There's too many Kit Kats on this list. I don't need a million Kit Kats. They all go on could take or leave it. But the regular Kit Kat, I have to admit, is better than the... Ch I think the regular Kit Kat's better than the chunky ones. Personally. Oh, these Lint, uh, Lindor, whatever they are, chocolates are alright. They're not bad. Solid. The Lion Bar is one of my favourites, so there you go. I mean, we're weighted probably more towards them being good than bad. Except for the uh, Diabolical Bounty Bar. <laughs> Magic stars are fantastic. Get the magic stars. Maltesers. I mean, there's not much more that can be said, in my mind. You get a Malteser, right? You, you bite it in half. You stick it on your tongue and let it kind of dissolve away. It's a lovely feeling. Mars bar. It's solid. It's a solid, it's a solid classic. There are, yeah, there's all sorts of Kit Kats in Japan. I think, is there not a... Is there not like a wasabi Kit Kat or something like that? I can imagine a wasabi Kit Kat. Mars planets. Yeah, they were good. They were good, to be fair. Yeah, I'm never entirely sure why they do... I feel like they should have those everywhere. Right, so Milky Bar um, enters the same situation for me. It's white chocolate and I don't like white chocolate. But it's not as bad as a bounty. <laughs> the Milky Way is a lot better. Solid bar, that. Mini eggs, I mean, come on. Mini eggs go right to the top, don't they? They have to. Munchies, yeah. Proper good. So, yeah, I have no doubt people aren't going to like my selections here. Uh, peanut M&Ms. So, as I said, I prefer peanut M&Ms to all other M&Ms. I would say they're properly good. Because they are. A picnic, no thank you. I feel like I feel like the the bounty the bounty has to have a, a category all of its own. <laughs> oh, here we got a Reese's uh, peanut butter cup. I could take it or leave it, to be honest. And is that the? Um, I prefer the smaller bar. I feel like those are a bit of a mess. The white chocolates need to go up. To be fair, I've put the white chocolate flake there, haven't I? Okay. You've twisted my arm. They can go there. Revels. Now I'm going to say to you about Revels. The Revels, right? You get the Malteser one. Very good. You get the kind of minstrelly thing. Very good. You get the orange one. That's not bad. And then you get a bit of... Then you get a coffee one. And I think it goes there because... Uh, oh, see, I prefer peanut M&Ms. I don't know what it is. I don't know what it is. I don't like regular M&M's, but I do like a peanut M&M. Rolos. Uh, to me, Rolos go in the top tier there. Smarties as well. Um, they're in the near the top, but not quite. But not quite. Snickers. I prefer a Snickers to a Mars bar. And I would say I prefer a Snickers to a Star Bar as well. I've had, I think I've had maybe a couple of Star Bars, and I definitely prefer a Snickers, personally. 
chocolate orange. Do you know, I saw somebody do a tier list where they put the chocolate orange there. They put the chocolate orange there. <laughs> like there's any debate. <laughs> a timeout is all right. It's a solid bar. We're finding most of this is weighted towards the middle here, look. Toffee crisp, yeah, good. A good chocolate. A topic. I feel like that has to join the bounty. I've never liked them. Twirl, there's your uh, there's your flake with the chocolate around the outside. A Twix. I mean, you know, these are all pretty solid options. Wisp of gold. Is there anybody that doesn't like a wisp of gold? I'd like to know. And the regular whisper goes right up with it. The Yorkie, now, I'm going to put these in take it or leave it, to be honest. Exactly, exactly. The chocolate orange is at the top, don't you worry. <laughs> but I've seen people put it at the bottom, honestly, and I'm just like, what, how, what? So here you go, so my tier list, my tier list is... Dairy Milk's Giant Buttons, a Dime Bar, Minstrels, Maltesers, Mini Eggs, Rolos, and Chocolate Orange are at the top. The After Eights are just there with Mini Snowballs, The Chomp, Crunch, Curly Whirly, Dairy Milk Caramel, Ferrero Rocher, etc. You can see what it all is. You can see what it all is. So that's my tier list for chocolates. Debate, a lot of people don't like bounties and... A lot of people do like bounties. Bounties are like the Marmite of the chocolate world, I think. You know, I really do. I think bounties are the, the Marmite of the chocolate world. You either love them or you hate them. And people will fight pitched battles on the side of one or the other. I just don't like them. And it's not specifically that I don't like the bounty. It's that I don't like coconut. <laughs> So for me, there's there's no uh, there's no alternative. I'm afraid. I hope that hasn't upset too many people, but it might have. <laughs> but it might have. I'll tell you what we'll do while we're here. Outraged, <laughs> outraged. You see, you see, you see. Gamer fiend loves the the bounty. <laughs> Shall we do another one that gets people, that, uh, that splits people? Can we get a UK soft drinks? Well, that's not a lot, is it? That's not a lot. Do you know what? Let's do it. No, let's find another one. There's not enough, there's not enough things in there. Definitive soft drinks. That's what we want. This is more like it, eh? This is what we want. Is that a lemonade? A Schweppes lemonade? Does anyone actually drink? In fact, is it or is it... Yeah, it's lemon. Is that like a weak lemon drink? It's average, really. Capri Sun. You know, when I was... When I was in school, when I was wee, a Capri Sun would be there. Now, I would probably put it about here. I don't think I don't think it's as good as I remember it being. I'm sure it's probably because when I used to have them, they were like full of sugar, and now they're probably a lot less. Uh, Rubicon mango. It's all right. It's all right. What's this? Ginger beer. Get the fuck out of here. Diet Coke goes in the bin. Uh, calf. Oh, there's a never tried it tier here. So if I've never tried it, I can say I've never tried it. I don't think I've ever tried this. Bitter Shandy. I've never been a fan of the Shandy. A friend of mine, I remember, right? A guy I went to school with who was a, who was a, a, a classic bullshitter. Classic bullshitter. He told me one time that he drank so much Shandy that he had to have his stomach pumped. And I was like... Wait, what? Why? Why? <laughs> 
Rubicon lychee, lychee. I've never, I've never tried it, but I assume <laughs> that it's fucking horrible. Guava would probably be quite nice, but again, I haven't tried it, so what's that? What's that bottle? Oh, is that that slur stuff? It's kind of average. Uh, it's all right. At Christmas, I suppose. Rubicon mango. Is that not the same thing? What's the difference between this one and that one? That's the same drink, twice. Oh, it goes in the same place then. That's your lip to nice tea thing. I don't like iced tea. Is this another ginger beer? Ribena. Yeah, um, I prefer the strawberry Ribena to the black currant, to be fair. Oh God, here it is. Here's the one, here's the one, here's the one. Dr. Pepper. I don't like it, but I don't think it's the worst thing ever. I'd say average. I'd say it's average. If I was asked us still about it, he won't agree. The Dr. Pepper cream soda. I mean, you're taking a, a, a drink that I think's average, and you're adding a drink that I think's fucking horrible. I don't know, I used to like cream soda at one point. What have we got here? Dr. Pepper, Pepper Vanilla Float. No. Pepsi. I like a Pepsi. Is that a peach one, is it? Yeah, it is. I like a Pepsi when I'm having a, when I'm having a, you know, when I'm having like a Jack Daniels and, and Coke. I say Jack Daniels and Coke, because that's what you ask for in the pub, right? But then what do you get is, uh, you know, it's the, it's the, um, it's the slogan for Pepsi in the UK. It's Pepsi, is that all right? <laughs> it's just not quite Coke, is it? Mountain Dew. I think that's just kind of there. I'm not even gonna. I'm not even gonna say anything about that one. A and W again. It's another one of these kind of. It's a cream soda, which I'm just not a big fan of. Fanta. I like Fanta Orange. It's all right. The only problem with I find, you know, the only problem with. Um, with your, your kind of citrusy soft drinks as they tend to give me a headache. I don't think I've ever tried Lime and Fanta. And I think that's the berry one, which I used to think was much better. Was better than the regular Fanta. That's your Lucozade Isotonic or Isosport or whatever it is. Which I don't like. What's that? Fanta Peach? I've never tried it. I've never been a fan of, like, peach soft drinks in general, though. Is that pineapple. I'm putting a lot of these in Never Tried It because I've honestly never tried them. If that's a pineapple Fanta, I've got a feeling that would probably be really nice, but I've never tried it. And that's, I don't know what that is. And that's like Fanta. Is that a mango Fanta? Mango Fanta? Where are these drinks coming from? So yeah, Coca-Cola, to me, is bit is... It's better than is better than Pepsi, but not as good as Iron Brew. I just can't put I can't put Coke in the same tier as Iron Brew. I'm afraid. Black Grape Cat again. I've never tried it. Seven Up. I'm just I'm trying to think. The trouble with a lot of these now is they're all zeros. Like you can't even get the regular one. So I like Seven Up, but I probably prefer Sprite of the two. Um, that's that weird um, root beer thing. Root beer. Cream soda, uh, yeah, no. Lucasade, I like a Lucasade. I like a Lucasade, the regular Lucasade. Tango Orange, I don't like it as much as Fanta. And Tropical, I feel like I've never tried it. Apple Tango, I like an apple. I like a fizzy apple drink more than more than that. I would say we've got some Canada Dry here, which is going right down the bottom there again. Vimto. Vimto, if you prefer. We tend to in Scotland. We tend to. It tends to. It tends to. We tend to pronounce an extra letter between the M and the T. It's like Vimto. Vimto. Just the way we pronounce it, I guess. There's your Powerade. Goes in the same place as the Isotonic Lucasade. And there's your Cherry Coke, which uh, I don't like. Cherry Coke. Uh, Oasis is all right. 
real... Have I had that? Oh, yeah, yeah. Eh. Tizer, do you know what, right? I'm sure when I was a kid, I used to like Tizer. But I tried it, I can't remember when. And it's really not that good. I've not tried this LucasAid, so we're going to put it away. Oh, that's that Curiosity Cola, a Fentiman's Curiosity Cola. I've never bought one. Because I always think it's a bit expensive for, for what it is. What's that? Firefly? That's that blue Fanta. The mystery Fanta. Which, I don't know what it tastes like. Fucking Windoline or something, honestly. That's a cherry LucasAid. I'm not a cherry fan. But I'm not going to put it right at the bottom. Well, that's that pink lemonade LucasAid. Which I actually think is not bad. Wait, what's the difference between this Pepsi and that Pepsi? Is that like old Pepsi and this is new Pepsi? I'm not sure, so we'll put them next to each other. Pepsi Max... Savage, Pepsi Max Cherry, I'm going to put in bad again simply because I don't like cherry stuff. Here's Dr. Pepper again, look. There you go. Well, that's the LucasAid Orange, which I think tastes horrendous, by the way. The LucasAid Orange is fucking horrible. Oasis goes with the other Oasis. I don't know what that LucasAid is. Never tried it. And there's your, uh, that's your vanilla Coke. Which actually isn't bad. Not like amazing. It's not bad. R. White's Lemonade. I'm not a Lemonade fan. I just think it's kind of boring, to be honest. <laughs> this is another one of those Fentiman's things that I've never tried. Cream soda can get in the bin. Again, another one of those LucasAid ISO Sport things. Lilt. See, now here's the thing. As far as I'm concerned, Lilt's very good. But now it's all Lilt Zero. And frustratingly as well, you know, you can get a two litre bottle of, uh, you can get a two litre bottle of Diet Coke, and you can't get a two litre bottle of regular Coke. Again, uh, these car ones I've never had. What is that? Rubicon watery thing. Sprite, I think, is better than 7up. For whatever reason. Well, now you've got your San Pellegrino, your Tory drinks, look. Your traditional Tory drinks. Your lemon, uh, your weak lemon San Pellegrino. And your blood orange San Pellegrino. But the regular orange is actually very good, so I can't, I can't complain too much about that. I don't know what that is. And then we've got a lemon soda. Which is probably average. But I shouldn't say that, because I've actually never had it. So what do we get here? I don't know. We've put we've put a, a Dr. Pepper in the middle, which is just kind of fence sitting really, isn't it? We're not taking a side on that one. We're not taking a side on that one. How do we feel about this? Do we feel that it's all right? It's all right. It's all right. Anyway, let's get off this and let's get back to the game. Let's get back to the game, eh? We don't want to. We don't want to upset more people with our with our opinions on, on, uh, on chocolates. <laughs> what would be? I'm trying to think. What would be like the biggest thing to divide people? Uh, right. So what are we doing here? There's a skull. Oh, something's happening. Something's happening. All these drinks are sugar. The only ones you drink are sugar free. Pepsi Max, Coke Zero, Iron Brew, etc. Yeah. Um, I think that's the thing, you know, it, it depends how you how you kind of do with sugar, and obviously if you can't have a lot of sugar, um, then it's really not possible. There's not really any options, soft drinks wise. Uh, so why is that there? That doesn't seem to... Does that? Is there something we can do on that? Don't know what just happened there, that was weird. Well, let's try this. What does this do? Oh, look. It does something. It does something. It might be getting stopped by that thing down there. Let's see what's up here. Let's just go around this and just see what it's all about. I'm guessing we have to go down here and, like, unlock all the stuff. No worries, Lynn. Oh, well, that's not very good. I didn't expect that I would fall down into the lava. 
the, the I'm guessing we can't do anything with that until we've uh, freed up the gears. Well, how do I get onto that wall then? Oh, there we go. Just had to choose the right time to drop down. Oh, there's an exploding. There's an explodey boy. I think we're okay to pick these up when they're not lit. This is an inert bomb. So we can stick it on something and then fire on it. I use fire on it to to blow it up. So I think what we need to do is get around here, throw this at that, and then we get the blade thing and do that. Light him up. Right, and so now these should turn and we should be all right at this stage. Oh, that one's uh, that one's a bit squint there. Eh? Oh, that's not going to be a problem. Uh, where are we going? Up. Uh, how do I get out? All right, I get out this way, of course. The way I came in. Shouldn't be too surprised, really. Climb, climb, climb. Now we should be able to free that thing at the other side. Hopefully this gets us what we need. I don't know if this opens up the... Uh, Opens up the flaming mouth room or what. It turns it. Oh fuck. This might have been a mistake. Oh no, we can get over there, it's fine. We can get over there, it's not a problem. Just climb. Wait. It's not coming back, is it? It's coming back. Well, we don't get enough time to do that then, do we? Wait. It's moving all the time. It's getting better all the time. Alright, okay, so what we need to do then, it's gonna it's gonna switch back and forward between places. Oh what's that? Where's that up there? Blow up. What's that do? Nothing. Okay, so we want this. We need to wait for that to come back. And then we can blast the uh Oh there's a thing there. Hmm. I see. We can maybe blow that up as well. Okay, so... Right, that works. And then we just do this. Do it quick. Thankfully it can go through a wall. Even though it shouldn't be able to. Huh. So we know there's an exploding wall back there. Is there a torch somewhere that we can light to get that to work? We're just going to have a look at this quickly. I mean... I could get this. Oh yeah, I know what to do. If I do this, and then do this... Does that light that? No, it doesn't. Okay. Well, that's shite. I don't... There's not a fire I can use to light the other one. Which is kind of frustrating. Yeah, there isn't. Right, so we have to get over here, but we're not going to make it to the end. Oh, maybe we will. Maybe we'll get off before we're too late. Yes. Bang in this room. Let's see. What's in here? Nothing in that part. Nothing there. But we have got a button here we can... A button? A gear we can turn. And up comes the uh, statue. That should hopefully let us open up the... Uh, open up the, the lava mouth. Oh fuck, now there's a flaming... Bat there. Go away! Yeah, fall off. Fall down. That's what we want. I wasn't close enough. Got it. We struck it. What does that do? What does that do for me? Nothing. Maybe we didn't hit it. Looks like we didn't hit it. 
Maybe there's another one? Don't know what that does. Is there one somewhere else too? There's a couple of orbs on either side of there. Oh wait, is that another... There's another lever thing there that we're supposed to get to with that thing that blows up. Yeah, how do we blow that up though? We need to be able to like burn something there so that we can... Because we need to get through that. We need to get through this. We gotta get through this. We gotta get through this. I don't think I can... I don't think I can take it down. Hmm. There's fire on that side, but I can't possibly... Like, I can't hit the fire from here. Hmm. I don't see how... I don't see how we do this. We have to get that blown up, but can't take that off the wall just yet. That's interesting. We need fire that we can then use to light that. Don't suppose these count. No, I don't think they do. So We've got the thing on that side. I don't know. Oh, there's that thing down there as well. Go and get that. Even though it might get us killed going down here. Another soldier artifact. Anything down here we could have used to let to light that? Doesn't look like it, to be honest. I'm just... I'm not entirely sure... How we light that. Wait, is that it? There's another one here. I don't really know why that's there, to be honest. Oh yeah, because we, we used it to get something earlier, I think, didn't we? You can go across there, you know, when you're ready. <laughs> Having some trouble climbing. No, wait a minute. No, this... No. Why? Okay. Get down off this wall. Get down off that wall, you. Okay, so that was there. And there's one there. But the problem is... I don't see a way... to do this. Like, I don't see a way to send the fire to that other thing. I can't launch it. I need to get it around the corner, though. The one up there is kind of annoying. Look at that thing, that statue there. Because if we could use that, we could blow it up with that. But we can't. I wonder... Let me try something. No? can't do both. That's the other problem. I can't, if I can't see it, I can't throw the thing at it. And hitting that doesn't light it. Unfortunately. It just doesn't do it. But the only flames are over there. What the hell? Oh, wait a minute. I wonder if I... Could I... 
happens if I hit both? Oh look, that lights that one up. Aha. So if I throw a few of these at this wall so that it makes a kind of path round to the other one maybe that's the answer. I guess we'll find out. This might not be the most sensible way to do it but I feel like it will work. That's maybe a little further away than I wanted it to be. Let's take one more and we'll just launch it in the gap between. I think they're probably a bit too close together but this should work. Let's see. Yeah, look, easily. There you go. There's your solution. I don't know if it's the solution you're supposed to use, but it's the only thing I could see that would work. Right, so I guess this will bring us up another one of these things we can throw the thing at. Yeah. And I think we have to hit both of them at the same time. Oh, there's another bloody two of these bat things. Ah, uh, there were two. Are they away? Are they dead? No, they're down below, look. They've gone down below. They're downstairs. Come on, come in here, Luke. Come in here and fight me. So that I can't fall into the lava. They won't come over here and fight me. It's very frustrating. I got them both with that one, though. So yeah, there's two of those. Okay. Looks like the two of them just come and then there's none, so hopefully that's uh, all going to work out okay for us. So what I need to do here is I need to hit both of these, but I need to be closer. So if we stand about here, hopefully... Hopefully that's it. There go the flames. Dun, 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 dun. The secret has been completed and we get the sword that we have to go back and shove in the middle at the back in the other room. And hopefully that then unlocks the last door that was in that room that we couldn't get through. Oh, we've got two boxes full of souls. We've got a decent amount of souls here. Can't complain about our souls. Our souls? Wee Glide down. And there we go. Sorted. Done. Fixed. In place. So that then opens up the... Uh, opens up that gate for us. Perfect. And that's the last room we need to go into, which is... Where again? Where is it? Is it that one? Yeah. You can see because we've not been in that room on the other side of this door, so... Looks like an easy one to do, which makes me think it really isn't. It just stole my chest. It stole a chest off me. Who do they think they are stealing chests off me? Well, then, I'm not scared. Oh, he's over there. Just showed off my uh, sword fighting skills for him. Just to scare him away, it didn't really work, but... So the two chests got stolen. Can you give me my two chests back, please, while we're at it? They're coming back, Luke. They're coming back, it's fine. Even. Chest thieves. Oh, we got a Wrath Shard. We need one more, I think, and then we get uh, an increase to our overall Wrath. Let's not forget to open this, too. Doesn't look like there's a sword in here. Beholder's Keep. Which... I think we needed... Was there a door in here that we needed that for? I'm trying to think where we needed the beholder's key for. Do we have like a on the map? Is there a thing that shows us? I 
Those were the other three rooms that we went in and found puzzles. Ow. Got an itchy ear. Oh yeah, it's over there, so it's in the room. So we go up there, through the door, up there. And that should get us where we need to be. Through this door up here, that'll do us. Oh, you're heading off? No worries, Lynn. Thank you very much for being here. Have a good night. See you next time. And we're off. And we're off. So we have to go that way. Have a good night, though. I'll see you next time. You can go away, skeleton. Skeleton monster. What do you want? Get rid of the skeleton. There we go. We did that one already. It's this thing we want. Come on, then. Get the skeletons! Keep them in the air. Just juggle them a bit. Even if I have some questionable taste in chocolate. Fair enough. <laughs> but thank you for being here as usual. <laughs> you can't we can't we can't all like all the same things. It would be boring if we did. We've got a room full of bats, I don't like it. Come on, hit him. Hit them all. Get them all. Gotta catch them all. Come on. Oops. Get them all. Get them all dead. Get them all dead. Now the problem is there's a couple of them that are like sleeping. I can hit it hard enough so that it goes down into the uh, into the uh, lava, though. So let's hope we can do that with this one. Go on, fall in the fall in the lava. Lovely stuff. Lovely stuff. Right, where are we going? Round. Round that way. Oh yeah, there we go. There, that way. Okay. So we found a weird machine. A weird spinny machine. Which I guess... Does something. Don't know what. Let's see what it does if we turn it. Maybe it doesn't work yet and we need to do something else. Oh no. Oh, it gives us one platform. One platform that there's no way we can reach. At the moment. I guess we're going through here. What's in this big room that looks like a battle arena for a big boss fight? Oh, guess what? It's a big boss fight. The Jailer. He needs to go, he needs to go see the doctor, I think. All right, bud. You're not hitting me with your uh, stupid jail cells. Oh, there's like skeletons inside. Oh, whoops. Don't get hit by that. Don't get hit by that. Get that guy. I want you to take your... do your attack so that I can attack you back. Oh, what does he want? Must be some way to rupture his fleshy spots altogether. Oh yeah, there probably is, yeah. Like that, you mean? Oh yeah, look! That puts him down so we can attack him for a bit. Although apparently attacking him from behind doesn't do us any good. Whoops! Okay, that didn't work out very well. He just got very angry. And I can't hit them until they turn yellow again. Alright, settle down. Settle down. 
Come on. Move. Okay, he's not as close as I thought he was, so that's fine at least. That one dies very easily. There you go. Hit those all. So when he goes down, we can hit him from the front, I think. Or was it the thing sticking out in front of him that we're supposed to be killing? But now we need to run away because... Well, he doesn't get... He's not very happy. Yeah, the whole place is going to come down on our heads here, mate. Settle down, eh? You're knocking down all the pillars. Let's hit him while we're hitting them. Oh, shit. Ooh. He just, he just like, shattered all of his pals. You can see why he doesn't have a lot. Why he doesn't... Why he doesn't maybe have a lot, can't you? If he just, like, smashes them with a giant cage all the time. Leave me alone. Look, I'm trying to get rid of this guy that's, like, jailing you, so what's the, what's the issue here? Surely they should be joining forces. To get rid of him. They just don't seem to understand that he's the big problem. There we go. Bring him down again. Yeah, I think it must be that thing sticking out of his face that we're supposed to destroy. Thankfully, we moved away quickly enough there. Are there going to be any more skeletons, do you think? Yeah, calm down. Calm down. It's all right. Don't you worry. It's all right, pal. He's not going to... It doesn't look like he's calming down anymore, to be honest. I don't know, it doesn't look like we can calm him down. He needs to release some pressure. Well, now we can get him. Now we can get him. We can throw off his thing and smash him with his own cage. He's trying to give him, uh, he's trying to give him, like, CPR or something, uh, chest compressions to wake him up. Nice. Should get a few souls for that, no? No? Well, we got a lift, though. That's all. We didn't, did we seriously not get anything out of killing that? Seems like a bit of a letdown to me. What's up here? Nothing. Oh well. Let's use the lift and go upstairs, see what's going on. Oh, downstairs, sorry. That's shut. Oh, we're down on the level of that of the lava from the other the other place. Right. Now what? There's a... an explodey thing. There's a load of... Hmm. Interesting. I'm not sure... The trick we used last time won't work on this. Oh, but wait. This will. That'll work. That'll set that one on fire. Let's see what's down this way. Oh, hello. Yeah, Alright, lads. Oh, there's one of those poison guys there. Move out of his way, because otherwise we're going to end up dead. Oh, wait. There's nothing to do in here. That's because I went the wrong way. I can see that now. What we want to do is hit him with the uh, with the thing, because then he can't use his poison attacks. If we uh, if we hit him with the like spinny thing, that's a problem.
then we can get rid of them while he's uh, while he's dealing with that. Ow, he does hit hard as well, so that's a bit of a problem. We got away just in time to stop herself being poisoned there, but only just. Okay, we're all right. We're okay. There we go. We got him. We dealt with him in the end. And he just vomits fucking poison everywhere, look. He's like the uh, plague. He's not a nice guy. Oh, we need to heal because I think we're still poisoned. Give us all that. I don't know what going this way does for me. Oh, it gets me to a different path, though. Gets me to a different path. Ooh, shit. He's dealt with. I don't think this poison's going away. We've got full health. In terms of the number of bars. Ah, here we go. Does this give us a path that we can then use to get to that, maybe? Yes, it does. Good. I don't know why my health is still like that. Um, we're going to just try and see if we can um, light that. Good. Now, if we can do the same again with that one, that would be ideal. I mean, that should be enough to get this done now. It's weird, my health's just sitting there, not doing anything. I don't understand why it's not... Why it's still doing that. Very strange. Um, that should be close enough. Oh, whoops. That should be close enough to hit it, I think. Well, it's not. We'll light that one, then. Light it up, up, up. And now let's just move back, because... I, mean, I doubt it was going to do anything to us, but we move back anyway. Anything in here? Nope, nothing in here. It looks like that'll probably bring this down so we can use it. Or it'll put it up so we can use it. Okay. So I guess that gives us another thing to turn which will let us get across that chasm. Oh, fuck. The good thing is we can probably avoid that whole situation by just going this way. Can we get the lift to work before they get in here, do you think? Imagine we imagine I turn around just now and they're in the lift with me. Oh shit. Uh, what I mean to say is, at least the poison one isn't in here with me. That would be impossible to escape from at that stage. They're not dying though, which is odd. Now they are. What are the other two doing? He's running on the spot, Luke. Getting in his exercises. That's it. Imagine I got stuck on here now. I didn't, so it's fine. There we go. Okay, we're out. Uh, I think we just go straight out this gate. We're not going to get attacked by another big boss crap fight. See, that's still... I still haven't recovered from whatever's causing that. And it doesn't seem like my health was going up either. Like when I picked up any green souls. So I don't know... I don't know what's happened. Is there some kind of glitch or... But there's that open. Do 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 do. One. Two. And a nice easy wee glide into there. And then just crack both of those at once. Do do do. 
That's interesting. There's two doors, but they don't show... Sorry, there's a door, but it doesn't show... It is a room on the map. Let's go this way. See what this is. What is this? We might be able to make that jump, but I'm going to leave that just now. Let me have a look at the map. I'm not entirely sure where that... Looks like I've been there, or maybe just that the door's open. Let's go through the big door in here first. See what's in there. Big round room full of monsters. That's where the... Uh, that's where the sword is. Well, there's quite a few of them in here, I didn't realise. I should have taken the other swing on him while he was in the air. My health's right at the bottom there, what the hell? My sword's leveled up a bit. Which I guess means it shouldn't take quite as long to defeat this guy, but I'm not sure. I just died, I, had, I said I had two health bars available. Okay, now we're okay. I said I had two health bars available and I just died. Very strange. Or maybe they'd run out. Maybe that's what it meant. It was showing that both of them were empty. Oh, we need to be a bit more careful with our attacks here now. Whoops. I managed to get into the uh, the animation of doing that there, which helped, I think. Seems like sometimes the uh, oh, the finisher uh, animation helps. Oops! Ow! Need to settle down. I avoided his hit there. I thought he was going to hit me there, but and he did. Oh, there he is. There he is. He's dead now. I just you two to deal with. There we go. I'm dead. Oh, there's more. Oh, there's a fucking poison one as well. Give me that. Go get rid of you guys first. Get rid of him, come on. Ooh, nasty. Nasty, nasty. We need to be careful about this because of what happened last time. We had one of these on us. Okay, but we have recovered our health quite a bit, so that's good. That pretty much holds him in place, and then we can just do what we want to him, almost. It died. Okay. It died, so we're alright. Uh, we did that. We did that. So let's get the sword. Give me that sword. Something's gonna appear behind me once I fucking did as well. Two of these fuckers! Okay. I'm foolish to come here, you're probably right, but you know... Whoops, oh, I went over his head as he attacked me. It'd be better to isolate one and take it down. Oh, it turned and attacked me there, that wasn't nice. We get a decent amount of hits on these if we can just... Oh, he took a swing at me as I uh, did that. 
That was close. That was too close. Get rid of this one. He says I'm weak, but I just defeated his mate. And he's next. So I don't know what he's talking about, really. I'm pitiful, you can't even hit me. There we go, see? There's no point taunting somebody if uh, if you're losing that badly, is there? <laughs> Just seems totally pointless. Um, so I want to know what that other path's for, to be honest. Off to the side here. I'm going to go and check what this is first. I'm interested to know where it takes me. Or wait, could I not get across here? I can't remember if I could get across this or not. Well, not if I do that, I can't. That's for sure. Yes, we can. I can't remember what's here. It doesn't look like I've been here. But I could be wrong. I'm wondering where this is going to take me. Alright guys. There we go. I just realised, am I using the bloody... The sword that was for the, um... For the puzzle thing. Don't think we make this. Oh, we do. I don't think I'm supposed to be here, to be honest, but... We'll have a look. That takes me back outside. I don't think I want to be outside. We have to go back to that puzzle. To that thing where we had to put the, um... The swords in. Because there was one more to put it in. I don't think that's the way we want to go. I don't think I make this fly and I don't know why I decided to try and do this. That's why we had to climb across it. We can make it easily enough, but... Looks like we made it after all. Get off the wall. So I'm not sure what that is, if it's just a shortcut to somewhere else afterwards. Maybe it is. Maybe it's just a shortcut out of here. Maybe. Right, so we go across here and go back to the... Oh! We got a loading screen there for some reason. I guess because it was loading something. <laughs> Right, so now... Ooh. Jump. Jump. And... Jump. This should take us back to that central room where we can... Something's here. Sounds nasty, whatever it is. We're not going to hang about and find out. Yes, I don't think we are. Hang on a minute. Where do we need to go? Oh, do you know what? No, we do, because we went and we've gone out the wrong door there. We need to go that way. And we have to go round the top to get there. So whatever that was that was behind me, we're probably about to find it. Wait. Oh, yeah, yeah. No, it's fine. This gets us where we need to be. Quickly and easily. This is the room we want, so we can put the last of the swords in. And do whatever that does for us. Here we go. What does it do? It closes all the doors on me. Does the whole room move? I think I have to refill this. But I think I have to change the coil as well. on this. Going through the roof. Oh, 
Oh, that's to this door that was shut before. I remember now. I guess that door's open now. And I, I imagine this gets us to the top of the tower. Yeah. Oh no, the door closed on me. And it's sealed from the other side now. Right, one sec. I'm going to just fix this quickly. I just need to change the thing in my, my vape thing. So give me a sec, let me just... up. Oh. Let me fix that. Oh, it's a bit loose. The bottom of it was a bit loose as well. The bit that connects to the battery. Alright, new coil. So I'll do this quickly. That's the one. I'm still using the bigger tank. I've got the other tank as well if I need to, but I'm actually going to need to buy some more, some more fluids soon, I think. But we'll deal with that eventually. Oh, oh, wait, I haven't finished. Oops. I was going to just pop it in and then I realised there was something I still needed to do. Which is I need to do then see a little drop. Oh no. Around each of the edges of this so that it is... Okay. There we go. Pop this in there. Just do it as quickly as I can. There we go. That's that part changed. And then I need to fill it as well, but I'll need to, I'm going to leave it for a minute. No, wait, I can quickly... <laughs> I'm just thinking about Lud's thing there, about do I have questionable tastes in chocolate? I guess so, if you, if you like bounties. Or topics. I realised as soon as the topic came up that it was probably worse, to be honest. <laughs> probably worse. Which topic? Oh. Right, we're off. Of the two. And I don't even like coconut. Up we go. So I guess we're going to have to fight this big bat creature up here. Oh no. This is going to be dead. This is going to be a bit tougher, I'm sure. Unless we have to do it on the back of the griffin or something. Yeah. Pretty much. Poor griffin. Oh, what? That's not as full as I thought it was. Not as full as I thought it was. Oh shit, hang on. Pause that. Not quite done here. I thought I was, but I'm not. That's better. Not quite done with filling that up. Oh. Should be okay to use now, though. Yeah, that seems alright. Right, so now we've got to fight this big bat creature. Tiamat. It's not like the multi-headed dragon from the Dungeons & Dragons cartoon. Okay, so I think... We've got to bloody throw a thing at it. If I remember rightly. And then we have to hit that with a fire. Well, I need just to take that. Where's the explosive on her chest? It's there, look. I've got to hit the explosive on the chest. That'll do. So we need to hit, we need to throw the explosive on her. Oh. And then when she comes down, we have to like start attacking with the sword as fast as possible. And then we need to get the hell out of the way. Before it comes back. 
not end well for me, she says. Oh, that was that didn't end well for me, did it? Ooh, close one. Close one. I need to back. I dropped my thing as well. I need to fuck. I need to move out of its way. And to let it lunge for me and then move out of the way, I think. Okay, now it's not uh, now it's not flying at me. Maybe we've got a chance. I don't think that hit. Oh, it did. It's right in the middle of the chest, Luke. That'll do. There's two. The only thing is, one hit from this thing is pretty nasty. We only get one combo on her as well, so... Whoops. What was that? Oh no, she's on the ground now. No more, uh, no more explodey things. Whoops. What oh, we did this? What? What's that? What did I do? Uh, what's happened? I'm frozen in place. Have I just been glitched out here? I think I have. Well, that's not good, is it? Is there a way that I can? Can I? Wait. Is that this? I know that's on like the easy difficulty. I've got to start all over again. I got glitched out. Can I skip the cutscene? Because I've seen it. Yes, good. I got glitched. I got frozen in place. I said to press B. I pressed B and... Who knows? Press B and who knows what happened. You should have considered my own. Yeah, shut up. Such a pity. Just do it straight away. We got her straight away with the first attack. She just kind of shook her head on that one. Now she's going to do that lun the dive in at me, isn't she? So we need to just stay away for a little bit. Because we can't really hit her when she's doing these attacks. Now she's going to fly straight over. Oh no, she's not. Yes, she is. Yeah, she's going to do that attack now. Where she kind of blasts fire straight down at us. So we need to dodge that. I think she does it one or maybe two more times. Oh, I almost dodged it. Is this the last time that she does it? Or has she done it the last time? I can't remember. No, that's her done. Okay. That thing's on her now. Damn it. That should do it. That brings her down again. And then, I guess... That's where she's going to blow everything up. Yep. Now, okay. Oh no. That's a bad uh, bad place to be when she jumps in the air. Okay, that worked. This time. We're flying in the air. And then she got blasted me into the ground. What? I have to dodge a little sooner than that. I tell you what, dodging's not easy though. I'm gonna die. I've got no way of healing. I did it again. Okay. That one worked. Oh wait, what's happened? Did 
Get out of here. Whoa, that was close. I'm like, I'm like, like a tiny bit of health left. Basically, I've not. I have to try not to get hit at all for the rest of this. And that's not going to be easy. Whoops. We just have to keep hitting these, I think. That was close. Okay. Is she going to do it again, or am I in trouble now? was close. Alright, so she's not doing that charge anymore. Oh, she's down. Didn't know she was going to drop down there. Take an extra couple of hits if we can. Uh oh, what's she doing now? I almost messed that up. Well, I did mess it up, in fact. I think this might kill me. No, we're okay. Okay. We're okay. Started charging at me again, which I didn't realise it was going to do. I'm dead. Fuck. I just picked the wrong time to move in there. And we have to do the whole fight again. The first part's quite easy. We need to avoid getting hit as much on the first part, I think. <coughs> Excuse me. To avoid getting hit as much on this first part of it. If we can. I mean, the last time we managed to throw the thing on her straight away, which was helpful. Ideally, we can do that again. The only problem is... The other thing's up there. Ah, fuck that. And now I've been hit, which is what I didn't want. I've thrown that too high, I think. And I've just dropped the bloody thing. We need to let her blow the fire first, and then... Where's the thing gone? Damn it. Right, well, we've got two on her. I wonder... I wonder if that would work. Oh, come on. I hit her with two of them, I wonder if that helps. I feel like that'll do a lot of extra damage. The only thing I'm not sure about is... Uh... Yeah, I don't think... Um... I don't think that made any difference. Putting two on her. Um, I don't even know if that hit her, to be honest. She needs to dodge a little bit, a little bit later. Just a little bit later on the dodge. Like that. I think I actually got hit that time. I think she does one more, does she? No, this is it. Yeah, that's it. We need to now get her with another one of these. Come on, come on. I should do it. I think we only hit her with one that time, but I don't really care. I just wanted her knocked down. I think we're okay. We're a bit better for health this time. We had to move because of last time. Whoops. Right, so remember, she's going to charge. We just press B. There doesn't seem to be a quick enough way for me to get over there and hit her before... And we need to move back. We need to be very careful with our hits here. That counts. Okay, good. Now, ideally, we want to kind of go wee, wee, 
we and then move back this is better I think it's still dangerous far enough away that that doesn't doesn't hit us oh she's down I didn't know she was going to fall down there again. It's a pity there's no more of those exploding things we can throw at her, but there aren't, so... Not much we can do about that. Now, is she going to start running at me? Here she comes. Do that again. Launch it across the, across the uh, rooftop, at least. I think we've actually had her down less times than we did last time, though. I might be wrong. Move! Damn it, I couldn't move out of the way quickly enough. Couldn't move out of the way quickly enough there. Here she comes again with the charge. There we go. Do it again. Do it again. Do, 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 do. Oh, she's down. Oh no! Oh, that was close. That was so close. I almost got hit by that, I think. Ow. Mmm, not good. She's going to do it again, isn't she? No, she doesn't. She, that was only one fireball this time. Last time she did a couple. Here she comes, she's going to charge again. There we go. I don't know how close it is to defeating her, but we're going to keep trying. Did you move? Oh, fuck. I didn't move. I, I waited too long to move. She's down again. Yes! I think we've done it. I think we've done it. Tear the wings off. You ain't flying about anymore. Imagine that now there's a second form. Grant my every wish. Can you? I? Can you restore the balance? I guess not. No wonder Samael wants this thing. It's causing with power. Should we give it to him? For, keep it for herself. Destroy it. I don't know. The heart of the chosen. And we got a life stone, so our maximum health has increased. Over here. Over here. Over here. Over here. Well, that's that, that's the first like big boss, I think. Without your feathered friend. How will you escape this prison of rock? Dunno. I'll find a way. That's actually a good you question. Certainly proven yourself. Really it's a very good question, considering we had to fly to get here. Like a bit, there's a parking meter there though. Perhaps I can provide a quicker way. Perhaps Speak plainly, demon. Serpent holes. Ancient paths Serpent that holes. Their way beneath the husk of this dead world and beyond. Snake owls, mate. Oh, I just realised the time. <laughs> well, that's a good time for us to finish, actually. Baldrum. A trifle, really? <coughs> a trifle? Who wants a trifle? I'm not sure we've got the ingredients to make a trifle here just now. Anyone got any jelly?
No, he's not allowed. Let's look at the heart. No, no, you don't look with your hands, you look with your fucking eyes. Look with your eyes, not with your hands. Holes are yours, horseman. Seek me out when you wish to use them. Well, I mean, I don't really have much choice, do I? I have to use a serpent hole here. Let's have a quick look at what else we've got here first. How many souls do I have? We can't get the harvester yet. I've got a brand new combine harvester. We could buy some powers for that. Oh, ricochet blade. Yes, please. Ricochet haze. I don't know if that's what we want. Whirlwind combo. XX. Harpoon tackle. The upgraded harpoon tackle. The flip saw. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's have that. And the meteor strike too. And the power strike. I know I'm spending this all on powers for my sword, but I feel like I'm better too. That's enough for now then. Oh, we got some artifacts to sell them too. Oh, look at that. We got plenty. We got more. Give me that next level of that ricochet haze. Why not? Ricochet haze all in my brain. Power strike. That'll do, I think. We're all we're all upgraded. We'll take the serpent hole back to the guy, and then I'll finish after that. Um, so we need to go to the Scalding Gallow. Or is it the Crossroads? It's the Scalding Gallow, I think. Is where we want to go. The Scalding Gallow. Maybe it's not. Or maybe it is. I don't know. I'm not sure. Maybe this is the wrong place. Oh wait, these are the serpent holes, aren't they? This is the serpent hole that we're walking through right now. And up here is the way to get to where we're trying to go. I'll go and give him the... Uh... What was this now? Go and give him the thing. There he is. I trust that she suffered. No. Not nearly enough. Oh, there we go. The second guardian, Ow. The Look, like I cut on my nose, which is kind of annoying. This place. But first there is an obstacle that must be removed. We have to remove Ulthane, or Ulthane. One of the old ones. One of the old ones. Changing the deal already, Samael. What did he say? He said we had to do stuff for him. He didn't say what exactly we had to do. Business is with the horseman. Ulthane is no ally of the destroyer. But you won't find the griever without confronting the black hammer. Got you. And that will require strength you don't possess. Yet. Well, don't why are you asking me to do it then? How you stifle a horseman's true of course he does. In order to keep Is that not the point? We not already know that was the case. You so much as bring at me, and the oh. council will end you, both of you. I'm protected. Not in here. You are war. Rider of the red horse. Should we kill it? Not some puppet on this pathetic creature's stream. Oh, I will make you suffer. Don't make me suffer. A great rage stirs within you. Close it's gonna make me suffer. Oh no. You must release it. Or a puppet. You will remain. Don't do it. Oh well. We did it. But now we're gonna be in bigger trouble than we were before.
Oops, mistake. The horseman is broken, but there is still much power in him. Still much power. For a moment, I saw one who would stand alone against the destroyers. For a moment. For a moment. Yeah, so the next thing we need to do is find this Ulthane. Um, we've got the Chaos form, we can use that now. Temporarily. LB and RT lets us do that. But, that is where we're going to save our game. What the hell? Hang on. I want to save the game. Save game. There we go. That'll do nicely. Okay, so that's where we're going to finish for tonight. Um, I'll say thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed watching me play through a little bit of uh, Darksiders. I'm just going to come out of the game now. Um, it's a game I enjoy, and I'm quite happy to quite happy to go through it again. Just have to close it. It's one of those games where you have to go back to the main menu. Or you go back to like a screen before the main menu, before you can then go into the main menu and quit the game. Which is kind of frustrating, but it is what it is. Um, so yeah, that's some Darksiders. Tomorrow night I'll be back to play some more Dead by Daylight. Um, we'll see how we get on with that. Hopefully we'll have some good games, but who really knows? I guess we wait and see. Um, but yeah, uh, I'm going to say thank you very much for anyone who's been here. Uh, I hope you've enjoyed watching me play that. Um, and I hope you'll join me again soon for some more things. There are some things I'm planning on adding and changing, things like that, in the near future. I'm not 100% sure on exactly what they are yet. Um, so yeah. Um, as I say, thank you very much for watching. Hope you've enjoyed watching a bit of Darksiders. I'm going to uh, bring you over to um, somebody who we normally, we quite regularly raid. Someone who we quite regularly go and see, who is playing Deus Ex Human Revolution. We're of course going to go and see Alpaca Whacker. Eventually. There we go. So I'm going to say thank you very much for uh, for joining me. As I say, I hope you've enjoyed watching me play a bit of Darksiders. We'll be playing some more of that on Saturday, but tomorrow we'll be back for some Dead by Daylight. So yeah, um, thank you very much for being here, and um, hope I'll see you again soon. Good night for now.